rage on that beat going crazy.
What's up? This is Red the Bad Guy again, live from the kitchen. What's up? What's up? What's going on? All right. In the house today, what's going on? Okay. All right, we got everything going. Uh, let's see. I'm going to pull this up a little bit. Uh, got nobody to chat. Yeah, I think people complain because some people are not getting notifications for some reason. There's always that guy there, no notification bullshit going on. I don't know what it is. Uh, what's up, Lando? Alright, we're going to talk about some stuff today. Got to talk about this soft boy era and the 4B movement. The 4B movement again, which one is worse? You know, for you could say male to female relationships. Because I think, well, I have my opinion, both is worse. But, um, I don't know. You can 
We can decide. Hold on. God damn. Just when I got on. Just when I got on. That you know, uh, dang, this one I'm about to get on anyway. Let's see who's in the house. Okay, we got Lando and Avelli. What's up, Dion and David? Okay, okay, so far. All right, we gotta talk about some stuff today. Cool info news stocks are down again. Oh, wait a minute, but hit the cash app, super chat, man. Hit that, hit that. One dollar, two dollar, three dollar. All right. So, intro news: a little stocks is down, everything is down, crypto down. I, mean, I think crypto is only down because of the stocks, five hundred points. You know, because of um, they feel that you know um, fears of Iran might attack Israel now. President Biden just came on, did a, a press conference, I guess talking about it and stuff like that so the stocks you know fell to like the 530 points and right now is at what uh where the stocks at oh let me hold on let me get this because i'm reading the story but i want to see where the stocks is at you know, 501 right now, but then the S&P is 77, and the NASDAQ is 269. Everything's down. This is like the second real day where it was like 500 plus down the stock market. But it's because now it's because of Iranian, Iran's threatening to attack Israel, you know, and then our gas, the oil spiked up too. And I want to... Walking down here by the pump. 
They back up to five dollars here. Cheapest, cheapest gas, five dollars now here in California. You know, it's a you know, it's a Brent crude future international benchmark oil rose to ninety dollars. Okay, the barrel retreated after touching its highest since October. Benchmark U.S. benchmark climbed to eighty five a barrel. So it's kind of bad out here right now. You know, more strongly you're gonna. Okay, wait a minute, hold on. Is one piece of more student debt relief, Reg? You gonna give props or what? Ain't all of it. I'm waiting for for it. They they delete all of it. You are gonna have to. They ain't gonna be able to pay it. Shit. He's trying to do it. You know, that's all I can say is Biden trying to do it, but still, it's still fucked up. Shoot. I mean, that helps, but then the uh, question is, are you on the list? That's the thing. That's the next question you need to ask. Are you that billion something people that's on the list? Because some people ain't on the list. Still got to pay. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. But let me get it on. Get OMP, Eric Burr, Adam Valley, Lando, what's up? What's up? Let me give you a applause. Support the channel. The cash app. So everything is kind of down. And we right to have not been in crypto. So I don't think it's gonna, crypto is going to stay down for long. You know, right now it went down a little further than it did, but that's because of all this stuff that's happened in the stock market, you know, 66. I think this might be the last time that this is going to be down like this. I mean, I mean we won't see no 60 yet in a couple of days from now. You know, we won't be seeing no goddamn 60 in the 60s. Never, probably. Now, I could be wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong on this, but, you know. Um, but this is, this is about buying opportunity, you know, if it's as low as this, go ahead and buy quick as you can, because you might not get at these prices. That's all I can say on that. But, um, a lot of people in the crypto are really worried about this, because it's, you know, too close to having a family, and there's no way. That's next week, Friday, some people say, so something's wrong with the clock, because it's saying seven days, when it's supposed to say eight we're on the 19th, so I don't know. They talked about it already, about it. I don't know what's going on with that. But anyway, let's let us get into the main news. The main topic that I talk about this is also Reggie going to get Trump smoke for saying Jews and blacks aren't real. Jews and blacks. Wait a minute. He said, okay, it was, oh, okay, what do you say now? Okay, also, Riz, you're going to hear Trump smoke for saying Jews and blacks aren't real Jews and blacks if they don't vote for, if they vote for Democrats. Okay. Um, <laughs> so he, he's saying that he's saying what, what Biden said about if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say on that, man. I mean, I, I mean. <laughs> I mean. Hey, I don't know what to say. You say you don't like yourself, okay. <laughs> hey, man. I don't know what to say, man. I mean. They doing it, both sides are doing everything they can to try to try to get your vote, man. You know? And this stuff in, in Israel now is Iran. That's not helping the Democrats. You don't want to have no war, break out with war with Iran, or be in a proxy war with Iran. When you you running for election, that's gonna be bad for you. 
stock market already dropped 500 points for the second time this week. That's just crazy. She's crazy. I didn't wasn't joking when he said that, you know, you wasn't black, you know. If you don't vote for me, he wasn't joking. He was serious about that. You talking about that fool was serious. Hey, you 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 dead serious. Ah, you serious? He had a heart attack. Support the channel. I'm drinking some tea today. It's tea day today and water because we drinking that today. Yeah, making some soup up there. Tea, water, soup. What we is what we doing over here today. On you know, Friday, I usually be having a taco day, but I had taco day to yesterday. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I mean, he's wrong for they both of them were wrong for saying that, man. OMP, both of them was wrong for saying that shit. Shit, it doesn't make one right for saying the same bullshit. Now, one thing I can say is somebody need to tell Cornell West to drop out the race. And now he got this black woman, someone that I never heard of, as vice president. Somebody need to, to tap him on the shoulder and say, drop out. This is what I think he's going to do. I think he's going to, he's there to get those those pro-black folks and stuff and win. He know that he's not going to win. We already know that he's not going to win. I'm not going to gain no ground. In this election, he's going to throw his support over to Biden. And this is what he's going to do. So you end up getting some of the black vote that probably wouldn't go over to Biden by themselves. But I'm not reacting the same. Well, I mean, shoot, I mean, who's the first one that said it? You're going to react back to the, the person who said it first. So somebody you need to tap Cornell West on the shoulder to tell him, hey, you're not going to win this. Stop it. Go sit down. Nobody going to vote for your old ass shit. You just you be just another old dude up there just like, like Biden. What they call it? it doesn't mean anything. You shouldn't vote for him. Nobody going to vote for you. He's there to bring in the votes that Biden can't get. That's what he's there for. That's that's what I'm thinking. That's what me thinks. saying on that um this is gonna be interesting man this is gonna be interesting you know and then this i guess this trial with trump starts monday so we got to see how that goes and stuff um y'all might y'all might get by the end by default man because if you get found guilty in one of these trials that's coming up you know um he won't be eligible to run for president. 
So that will solve all everybody's problems. You know. So you probably might just win off of default. Because there's nobody else they have to run against them. You know, like I said, uh, Republicans, they fighting with each other. Something fierce out here, you know. Um, and now they want Mike Mike Johnson out of Speaker of the House and shit. And he's up there trying to meet with Trump. This is crazy. I, I, hey, this is this is unreal. It's always some in the world of politics. What's up, Joe? Elgin, what's up? What's going on? Doom, yeah, man. I don't know. Hey, this is crazy election. Like I said, man, I'm going to fucking sit out, man. Jeez. Yeah. Anyway, let's let's just get into this um the soft boy era and the Warby movement. Which one is worse? First, the soft boy era. I didn't know this even existed, but apparently. The definition is the soft boy era. That's right. Soft boy era. It's men who challenge gender stereotypes through their physical appearance, attitude, and interests. God damn. Okay. Let me give you a... Now, some examples of this is being in touch with their emotions. Come on, man. Really? Really? No, we tell you that, you know, men is not supposed to be emotional like women. So they say, I guess they're saying that you need to be emotional. You know, you touch with your emotions and stuff. Isn't that what was the conversation back in the day? Women was complaining that you men is not, you could say, in touch with your emotions and stuff. You don't understand me and stuff. Made men feel guilty and all this, you know, because, you know, you just, you're a man, you ain't supposed to be doing that, you know. Men express their emotions other ways, you know. Is it a troll? I don't know if it's a troll. No, that's not no troll. I looked it up, and apparently this is something, something that's out here. What's up, Gabe? And I don't, I, it's a troll. Okay, and then another example is wearing hoodies and flannel. I, mean, I don't know what the hoodies have to do with it. So, all the men that wear hoodies is part of the soft boy era shit. Um, and then you got wearing designs that blur the boundaries of masculinity and feminine so we've seen a lot of that with a lot of these guys like you know Jaden Smith out here and stuff like that you know um, who else uh, the rapper that say he's not gay but he looks gay and all this what's his name they had a country song I forgot his name yeah. y'all help me out yeah, I'm just O and P. I'm just saying you wear hoodies too, so I'm trying to figure out where that comes from. You know, a lot of people wear hoodies and flannel. You know, I mean, uh, okay, we, uh, we, we have to. That's a question mark on that one. Okay, and then they saying um, number four is wearing pastel colors. You know, so I guess one of the colors that is. Loud colors. Oh, and then five is wearing nail polish. Okay, we know about the nail polish shit. And a lot of dudes is out here wearing nail polish. You know, Dwayne Wade, a few others, and 
You know, they like decorating their nails, I guess. Yeah, I don't, Joe, I don't know about that. I don't know where, where they got that in. I guess they want to try to implicate all men in this or something. I don't know. You know, and then we're in cardigans. It's number six. We're in cardigans. Cardigan shirts, something like that. I don't know. I thought the nerd dudes wear that or dudes that are sophisticated or you know, upper class. You know, um, and then having long natural hair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Basically, another example they said having that K-pop look, you know, the group, the Korean, you know, boys group, K-pop, look like them, basically, you know. Um, they also said that you know men is not simps anymore, and that the women are strong and independent. You know, well, this is not real, okay. So you got to explain to me why it's not real. I'm not saying this is what was what what was this is out here. They give a whole definition and all this shit and it's not real Gabe. Okay. Well this must be real in somebody's mind. I ain't taking a bait. I'm just telling you what it is. I'm just reporting the news. Now the Urban Dictionary gave you a definition that, you know, these guys are really kind of like fuckboys, you know, without attitude. You know, they, they just, they doing all this extra stuff just to get the women. And once they get the women, you know, they just, they just get them and that's it, you know, whether they care about them or not. You know, they're playing a role of this being, you know, emotional and all this stuff like that just to get in on the pants and once they get in on pants, you know, it is what it is. You know, um, and then I, I, I looked at a lot of videos of this and then a lot of some dudes, I guess it was all on TikTok in these videos. One guy said that, you know, we're not paying bills no more, you know, we're not being head of household, you know. And then other guy was saying this is some bullshit. No, I didn't get that. That definition was in the urban dictionary. Hey, I mean you can just look it up. Just you don't have to you can just Google the shit. I mean, goddamn. Gabe shit. I mean, I don't know what you were you scared of maybe are you worried? Are you concerned? What's going on? I mean, if it's bullshit, it's bullshit. I guess the whole thing is bullshit. What about the 4B movement? Is that bullshit? Is that fake? I don't know who come up with this garbage, Joe. I this is the first time I was like, what the hell is he talking? Cause I saw a couple people videos. I said, what the fuck is this? What's this bullshit? Soft boy hair. What what is this? Like I said, I'm the important news, Gabe. I think it's the first time. I mean, you don't get mad at me. Don't, don't shoot the messenger. Shit. God damn. You shoot the motherfuckers that putting this bullshit out. That's what you need to do. Get that there. Man. Get that there, motherfuckers. Yeah. Anyway, 
So you got this somewhat era or movement going on on this men's side. And then you got the 4B movement, which we talked about already, you know, it's radical, radical feminist movement originating in South Korea, you know. You know, and basically these are women that's over there that's just announcing dating men, marriage, sex with men and having children. You know, the 4Bs, I tell you, the 4Bs again is, um, their mantra is, is, no heterosexual marriage, no childbirth, no dating men, no heterosexual sexual relationships. Basically, that's what it is. Mm. Now, there's a video I've seen from women in the U.S., you know, that's for the 4B movement, and they seem like it was a few of them, it was like white women too, sisters too, you know, but it seemed like the sisters was not feeling it too much, you know, even the ones that's on here that was um, talking about it, they not down with actually completely discarding men out of the picture, you know. Now they disagree. They do disagree. Agree with some of the points and why those women over there doing what they doing over there because it's really a harsh environment for them, I guess. You know, but coming to the U.S., I don't think it's gonna roll in the U.S. like that. Now you see a woman on here that's talking about this shit's a good movement, like Sexy Red on here saying that I'm down with it. You know, she got what in her title. On the handle now, sexy red 4B. That's bullshit. There's no way none of these women on here, especially her, when she just got off off of the tire gate shit, gonna sit there and, and completely denounce men. I don't see it. What does that mean? Denounce men, you know, getting men money from men. No more sense. You know, you, have to, you, you don't need to worry about no sense because you're not fucking with men, so you don't need to worry about getting a nigga. Looking, looking for the simps so you can get money out of them. No more dates because you're not dating men no more. No gold digging. You ain't dating men and you're not dealing with men. No more help, no help from men because you're not fucking with men no more. So you don't have to worry about dinner whores no more because they not date men no more. They don't want men. You don't have to worry about getting pregnant, getting money that way. Women don't have to worry about that. Why? Because they ain't fucking with men. I don't think that's gonna happen here in the United States. And once some of the women over here as opposed to this, find out that you group of women have, have actually embraced this movement. Oh, they just, they're going to say, good. It's more men for me. I got more simps now. Shit. I'm going to have to get four or five phones now because I'm going to have so many men. It's going to be ridiculous. I might not even go to work because I got all these residual men. You think she herself is gonna go for this bullshit? Fuck no. Come on. So any woman on here that's talking about she's down with this shit, she's on some full of shit. Sexy red that is full of shit on that one. Come on. Stop it. You just mad because the relationship ain't worked out for her, that's all. Meet the right guy, she be okay. Come on. Come on.
she was for me. She should get get back tired. Yeah, get back all the tired. Get back everything. The money you gave the four hundred dollars back or whatever. Give all that shit back. Get right back to antique. You don't need his money. You don't need nothing. Not at all. Nothing from me. No more dicks, no more nothing, no more money, no more tires. And I don't even think that, that a lot of those Asian women is going to be down with this either. They probably saying that shit, so you're hoping that you go attach on to this bullshit movement. So they can step right into your place. Come on, man. I don't think this is even going to go go far in the United States. At all. And with the soft boy era, I think this is more of trying to feminize men even further. Okay, see that snowball rolling down the hill loop. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you, if you, like I said, I mean, it's, it's bullshit, you know. It's, I'm for the 4B movement. Maybe motherfuckers didn't read what the 4B movement mean and actually what it entails a woman to do. What a woman's supposed to do, being part of that movement. You actually denouncing men. Want no money from? Want no help from them? Nothing. You can throw being hypergamous right out the window, gold digging right out the window. Catching a scent, falling out of the tree, throw that out the window too. Friend zone. You ain't to worry about the friend zone because you're not fucking with men no more. Hey, this is what it is. So which one is worse? Which one is worse? I don't know which of these movements are worse. As far as dating and stuff like that. Or at least the 4B, they still date women. But the other movement, you know, they don't want no parts of it. parts of no man at all. And you see what's happening in North Korea, you know, not North Korea, South Korea, excuse me. The birth rates and stuff like that. That's what they say now. So it sure ain't helping the society. I think these women should fire another movement, but if, if, if this is the end result of feminism, you, you, you need, might need to think this through first for joining this, before you join this movement. Must be getting 
no tires from okay he was before she should give back to okay we read that already he said, no more days no more money no more tires um whatever we'll be in our popular career as american people make it to be yeah that's what I talked about the other time, see, oh, but it wasn't that property, which is only a very, very small percent, because that shit don't make no sense. Oh, okay, that's cool. Let me read him an email. Okay, what is this? Oh. Folks, uh, let me do this real quick. Now, everybody want to come up. I want a snowball to pick up speed. As in, when was South Korea ever set the trend for Dayton, Maiden, Rachel in the West? I don't know. I think somebody's trying to push an agenda. That's what it is. But apparently, a lot of these people in TikTok is just throwing it. A lot of people doing videos about this. The only reason I'm doing talking about it is because some people on here are running with the story. And they have a problem with me on here. Really don't have a problem with men. It's just that they ain't getting their fair share of men apparently right now. Apparently, <laughs> that's all. Yeah, a lot of people saying the notification not going out. Carcino was saying the same thing. I don't know, man. I think I, don't know. I think it had to do with, with what's going on with the election, the Israel thing. You know, nobody getting no notifications. It's always happened every once in a while where nobody gets no notifications on nothing. Or certain people don't get notifications. Which is crazy. It doesn't make any sense. See, what I do, I just look at everybody. I know people I look at all the time. So, I always go to their channel. But it does come up in the recommendations. But the notification is, when you're going live, sometimes it don't go. It doesn't hit the live. There's no notification as far as saying, this person is live. Which is crazy. I noticed that if they if every the people that subscribe to you should get all the notifications, no matter what you do. Wherever you post up, you should get a notification. But it doesn't do it. That's why somebody in YouTube is doing some bullshit. Still. Niggas like themes and our soft boy. Yeah. 
them guys. So that mean that they're part of this gay coalition then, the, the, the soft guy era. He wear fingernail polish and all that and the little tight clothes or whatever they we wearing and shit, you know. I guess he, he's like that. And your girl since he be over there all the time. That's some fucked up shit. It's crazy. I don't even understand that. You talk about men like a dog. But you be over with the same men that you talk about, which is guys that be gay and down low. Doesn't make any sense. I mean, I'm telling you, man, some of you women might have some mental illness on here. You know, shit. This is, this is, I might have a little mental illness going on here. I think you can know because you either it's probably vertical stream of it is or you go back. Now nah, I ain't got nothing to do with that shit. It ain't got nothing to do with vertical stream. I guess it got something to do with what with the what you call it. This is YouTube doing it because what you call it ain't doing no vertical streaming. He's saying it. Cause he know what he's doing no vertical streaming. He's he been complaining for the last couple of days. And he, he, you know, people saying he ain't no no um notification. Yeah, y'all, y'all trying to find a way to get me out of the vertical stream. Yeah, you ain't no good, man. You, you ain't like you ready. No, no, no. Kid coming after the stream in it's crazy. It's crazy. Hold on, real quick.
Sorry. Sorry about that. All right. Now, but like you gave said, go look up your vertical streaming and stop your notifications. Well, well, it doesn't matter because sometimes a lot of people didn't get notifications for the longest. And they were still complaining about not getting a notification when vertical streaming wasn't even here. So I don't think that has really, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. What's up, Jay Martinez? What's up? What's up, Truism? What's up? I, I, it doesn't really matter. I mean, y'all should know what time I come. I'm coming on a little later, but y'all should know what time to come on. So, you, you, if you know what time to come on, you just just go look me up and something. I should be there. You know, eventually they're there. You complain enough. I, I could complain and see if what they do is something. I might get no notifications and shit. Usually I don't say nothing because usually it straightens itself out because other people complaining. So, you know, it is what it is. You're on YouTube. What do you expect? I mean, Y'all be complaining about this, this streaming and there's a whole bunch of people is doing it. You, know, you can go over there and complain to them about it. You no, know, but you ain't going to do that. Because they'll kick you off the show. They say, get the fuck out of here. Especially if they're getting views and stuff and subs. Oh, no. They're going to say, well, you, I don't like this vertical soup. See you. And See you later, alligator. Did you come over here and complain all day long? <laughs> <laughs> She's crazy, man. I don't want y'all to go over somebody's channel and join vertical streaming because say, I don't like you, vertical streaming. I don't you need to get rid of it. Man, go as a be up out of there, chat. So quick. <laughs> hey, man. I'll be bugging on here, man. I'm telling you. And especially they getting views. The views that they never got before. Subs they never got before. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. You're right, Red. We already did a complaint box so recent. Oh, wait a minute. So recent one. Won't be till next year. Yeah, but some people ain't got no complaint box. You, you complain too much over there. Other spaces, they can just tell you get the fuck out. <laughs> ah, hey, hey, get up out of here. See ya, alligator. I don't want to be ya. <laughs> Oh, man, this is crazy. No, but I mean, I want to know which one of these these movements is supposed to be worse. Is this the soft boy era shit, or is this 4B movement? I don't know. Like I said, I think maybe the soft probably more as a threat because it's, it's dealing with the masculinity of men, how they perceive Whereas this 4B movie, I don't think it's not even going to go nowhere here in the States. It's no way. Because these women be shooting their own self in the foot, you know. And like I said before, any woman over here that's trying to sponsor this shit on here, you know, got the 4B in their title and or they hand over their they name now. 
They on some full of shit. Straight full of shit. They don't believe that shit. They just using that shit just to get some views or some shit like that. They get niggas to talk to them. They want attention. Come on. You gonna give up. You gonna get in a movie. You gonna, you gonna give up men. Totally give up on men and stuff. Right. No money, no nothing. No dinner dates, no nothing. No going out to this. That's what they actually do. No me giving you no gifts or anything like that. You don't want to accept it, no, because you're not fucking with me. Come on now. Stop it. See, you just you just you just open the door for other women to take your goddamn place out here. That's what that is. Other women that's non-black too. And 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 it's probably the same one that's sponsoring this goddamn movement, the Chinese movement, you know. Come on, man. What's up, AC? Bree uh, Jones, what's up? AC, so uh, true is I'm giving a plug. Rocking about the link or something. I don't know. It's Friday. We'll see if somebody come up. I gotta put something in the chat, man. Put, put a little support in the chat. We're not drinking no beer. I'm drinking tea. I'm drinking water today. That's it. If we want to talk about something, Iran or whatever. My tech, the U.S. I don't, I don't know. I hope not. That I don't think that'd be the case. But already, gas went up. Stock market down. Bad today because of this shit. Put everything down. Crypto down too because of this bullshit. Okay, so I'm going to go back to vertical stream because of the notifications. When, so most of the time I come on here, I wasn't getting notifications at all. I, sometimes I went about a week and not get no notifications, but people still find out I was on. I just don't like this vertical stream. Y'all be complaining about this shit. It's crazy to me. Y'all know y'all complaining about that shit to me. <laughs> Not nobody else, it seems like. Uh, they said, you're not my father, AC. Uh-oh. What's going on here? It said, y'all know who responded for the soft boy era. Yeah, 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 AC, who, who, who's responsible for the soft boy era? 
You know, all this, all this bullshit that's going on. Yeah. Get this link out. That's some bullshit. Let me see. Get this link. go too far, you low-key be mocking African-Americans. But he's a tether, that's why. So he's a tether and he's going to do it because Tariq Nasheed is be going off. So it's a, you got a tether war going on. Tether, FBA, non-FBA war going on because of Tariq Nasheed. And then Mike TV, you know, he be tearing y'all apart, man. He did he just, just don't like nothing African, man. He just, my TV just be going off on y'all niggas, man. Tearing y'all niggas apart. I'm taking side with AC. No, no, I'm just, no, 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 no. I'm just saying. Look, I'm just saying this. There's a, a tether war going on. I see stars doing the same thing. You know, he just, you know, making a separation. Maybe that's what they want. They want you to separate, making a separation. Oh, he's the FBA. Anything goes wrong. Oh, that's why he said that. He's a non-FBA, that's right. He's not foundation black American. Anything that goes wrong with black people, oh, that nigga Cooney, okay, he got to, one of his relatives got to be from the island. One of his relatives got to be from some other, other from part of Africa. I knew it, that movie was a goddamn Nigerian. <laughs> Hey man, they started this shit. I didn't start it, nothing. I'm giving y'all the news. It's a separation, man. That's not good. It's not good at the end of the day. So 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 what? What chaotic truth and wait a minute, chaotic truth and who else? Who who chaotic? And SKC, what they they they're non FBA. I didn't know that. See, that's what I'm saying. See, it's starting to become a disease. You know what I'm saying? Hey, wait a minute. They not FBA now? Oh, hell no. <laughs> if you want to come up and talk about it, come on up and talk about it, man. Let me get that. Y'all go on Zab. Zab, you know, he Jamaican. He go mad because he's not siding with Jamaican people. Y'all go in on Zab. See, y'all was talking like this a couple 
years ago, but when Tariq started that, started that, you know, started to point out, started FBA movement because he wanted to hijack, you know, the Adels movement. And that's when all this started stuff started happening. Was this was going to happen anyway? Was was already resentment already, and just took and she just brought it out to the forefront. I want to know. I want to know. He said, "I have a non-BFA shine on your head." I do. I do. Now the FBA shine on my head. Come on, man. Look how to recall so much division. Me, Brian, uh, I'm going to show you all parent African is supposed to be. Yeah, he did. I'm just saying. Look at Tariq she caused a lot of division. I'm telling you. I think it's starting to affect a lot of people now. That's why some people are saying now they're calling him an agent. Agent of Chaos, Truth Nishid. Yeah, Adam Valley, yeah, that's crazy. It is true. He said, he said, okay, have any of y'all met anybody in real life who identify himself as a, well, most people don't identify themselves as FBA. You know, when you had these meetings that pop up, these social events, you be thinking it should be some representative from the FBA. It's not no real movement. Because there's nobody coming there saying that, okay, I'm FBA. Ain't nobody right. He does nobody ever call them. They just saying FBA just out of out of what Tariq Nasheed was saying. That's it. It's a fad right now. It ain't it ain't solidified in ink. Because when they give your reparation check, it ain't gonna say no FBA on it. It's gonna say Black American. I'm gonna say black. If you still want to be called a Negro, you can get that. You a Negro? <laughs> ain't gonna say no FPA. Ain't gonna say no more either. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Forget it. It's like they're getting freaky at the job site. John Beck had to do with human resources looking to into a sexual harassment between two. Damn. <coughs> Crazy. Whoa. You said a vet in tone and it had some momentum through. Yeah, they did. It actually was gaining. They was being taken seriously, but two, she jumped in there and put that bullshit out, and now nobody take them seriously. The dumb motherfuckers don't understand that. They was actually taking a vet card and tone talk seriously when it would come with the Eidos thing. I agree. What's up, Bomb Cherry? What's going on?
Adrian TV, what's up? Do you get into real? Do you get into the real of the subject? Gone. She did is gone. That was a griff. Didn't didn't make no enough money. Had to go to another griff. Hold on real quick, hold on. Okay. Alright. Let's see what y'all talking about. Hey, my people was against black receiving reparations. Alright. The museum is fairly recent. He was selling Illinois nation flags about six years ago. So, Terry, what's up? You just up on Trey, what's up? Uh, Rodney, what's up? Uh, let me, I think, who else? That's it. (laughs) 
No, but both of those movies are not going nowhere. And until, until they're on the books, officially on the books, on the government books as the official designation of black people, then it doesn't mean nothing. It doesn't mean nothing at all. And I don't think the FBI is going to get, get that far. Ados had a chance, but that movement is dead. So, um, and once, once, once Tariq find, you know, find out that he can't make no more money off of the, the FBA thing or whatever, or he get in trouble for, for this, then he, he's gonna, he's gonna discard this movement and move on to something else. Simple as that. Oh, so yeah. All right, we got somebody on here. Let's see who we got. Okay, yes. Anybody want to come up? Let me know who they want to come up and talk about some of the topic. Uh, the soft boy era or the 4B movement. I want to know what Bob thinks about the 4B movement. You know, are you going to join the 4B movement, Bomb Cherry? That's what I want to know. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up, so? Chilling. Yeah. Now, I want to know if Bomb Cherry going to join the 4B movement. You I'm talking about a lot about me. Uh, this is perfect, you know. Just guard me. Uh, I, I heard know. Um, Roger Report was saying that. Uh, it's a good thing um, that the people are claiming for it because it helps men pick out women better or something like that. Okay, Ask. that don't make no sense. Okay, so if the women saying that they're not going to fuck with no men at all, how is that going to help the men pick out women when those women don't want to even be with them because they're men now? It's not because well, they, they don't have the 666 thing going on. Thrash that. Yeah. It's like I get I ain't fucking with you, period, because you a man. Well he's saying that uh, you know, if they have they hope they throw that label onto themselves, it can I guess help um dudes filter out easier. But I guess the my thing is, well, what about the chicks that are doing we're already doing that before the label, right? Mm -hmm. Like and then also that would make kind of the little pick me thing a bit more easier to kind of you know, become like pseudo pick makes really because I mean, if you start saying, "Well, I'm anti 4B or whatever," you get this kind of you know, throw a little smoke screen there to confuse uh, the men and make it seem like, you know, you're uh, this amazing pick me or just oh choose me, but really, you know, you're, you just really ain't shit. At, at you know, at, after you know, your personality may be uh, ain't shit or something, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's a uh, I don't think people need to take it that seriously, though. I think it's kind of funny. I mean, I just let them just let them see what they do with this shit. I mean, uh, <laughs> let's just see how it goes. What's up, Jay? It's going to be interesting to see how far this goes. I don't think it's go nowhere. Now, that whole uh, soft boy uh, era bullshit. Now, <laughs> it, it's kind of funny. It, it is kind of funny, though. But my only, thing, my only thing cringe about it is that there's dudes coming on panels and now they're comfortable to say drizzle drizzle on a panel <laughs> which is kind of it's kind of pretty cringe okay so where is um, this drizzle drizzle thing i, I don't know it. what that is but that's what they say that's what the soft boys are i guess we call them the soft boys now that's what they're Isn't saying is in like a, like sprinkle sprinkles uh, yeah it's the opposite of sprinkle sprinkle yeah it's the yeah. counter to which still sounds cringe anyway Jeez. um but here's my thing if you really want to be a soft boy right I'm not convinced till you turn it yourself into a woman. Like, so all this little trolling they're doing, I'm like, oh, it's funny, but if you really try to be on that shit, you might as well uh, follow Temis, uh, uh, follow uh, Temis's lead and uh, go full rainbow, because that's what it kind of sounds like a little bit. Is but that, I understand the trolling, though. Yeah. It's a troll. It's a troll at best. All the dudes that do it, it's like, it's like jokes. But I don't know why why people are taking it seriously, especially dudes around here. Like they well, really and like they shouldn't they really it. shouldn't edward, take it seriously edward been going crazy posting software huh. era videos crazy absolutely Wait, is, nuts is, is, is he is he for that though i saw that is he like pro, is he, is he for pro, it? 
Are they? I think he is for it. He's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Protest against the soft girl era. (laughs) Okay, wait a minute. He's for the soft boy era. I believe so. I mean, as much as he's been posting it and promoting it, I think that that's where he's that he's like, yeah, go ahead, guys, go ahead, be soft boys, like soft guy. S G sounds wrong. That sounds kind of weird because it's trending on TikTok. Oh, okay. Yeah, wow. It's, uh, okay. So, I don't know how uh, much is trending, but it's God definitely trending. damn. This is some wild shit. That okay. just don't mean nothing, man. That just don't mean nothing. Uh, well, uh, it means uh, something, true. you know. If it's, well, we don't know how much how much steam is gonna get. We don't. Well, we don't know yet how much how much is gonna it's gonna. You think how much really out here get. telling telling women to cash out them thirty five dollars fifty dollars for a haircut? Yes, I do. Come on, man. Come on. Hop, hop. Yes, Come I on. Do. Yeah. Hey, Come on. You don't these these youngins these days. They they're different, man. Yeah. They are different. Uh, I I I I believe I got a cousin who's twenty five. Mm-hmm. I remember he told my father and my uncle that he, that basically my dad was asking him like, well, how do you plan on making money? Because he, he's not he ain't really got nothing going on in his life. And he told my pops, he was like, man, I'm just going to be out here just trying to finesse these hoes out of money, man. Basically, he wants to live off of women. But, mm. you know, fast forward to the present day, my cousin is currently homeless, as in literally homeless. But I think that mentality might be uh, more prevalent in some of these young people. Maybe not to the extreme of my cousin than uh, you know, we realize. But that's just the homosexual. Right, that's 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 the well, same thing. It's yeah, my cousin is a failed. Thing. He's a failed homosexual. Yes, but still, yeah. the mentality of well, if the women can do it, why can't the men do it? I think that's kind of running, kind of rampant with these younger people, man. So, so they want to do the same thing that the women do, basically. That's, that's how how women get money from men. So they're gonna do the That's my understanding of the whole what would what, y'all say the soft boy soft era? Guy era? Yeah, soft, soft boy. Soft guy era. Oh, soft yeah, guy I've, era. I've seen a couple yeah. videos on it and I mean I don't know if people are mocking it. I mean, I'm pretty sure there are some, but I think overall the mentality is that some of these dudes they want to get it how women get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To mm-hmm. where they can just be laid up and pampered and, and taken care of. I, I guess. I don't know. Yes, they've been saying that for years. No. Kevin Samuels, mm-hmm. even before Kevin Samuels, but remember they when they convinced these men that they're the prize, and so, mm-hmm. so they walk around talking about they're the a prize. I've seen streams where the men want to know why they have to protect the woman. Why don't the pr- women protect them? Wait, wait, Bob, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, 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 the prize, 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 prize team was taken out of context. I was just about to say yeah, that. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. That was taken out of context. Yeah. Taken out of context. Yeah. It was taken out of context. Yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, 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 you go ahead. Go ahead, Gabe. You, you probably I was about to say, say I think it's a big difference say, between a yeah. man saying that he's the prize and a man wanting to be taken care of by a woman. I think it's different. I think those are different concepts. I yes. see you blending it, Bob. No, they are two different contexts. That's okay. why I mentioned them both separately. I but said, said no, men- no, you were saying it was a prize. You were saying that. Yeah. Yes, the men said they want to be, that they are the prize. Yeah. That's one yeah. of them. And that that so a man saying he's surprised okay he is he, essentially saying that he should be taken care of why else and, and is he considering himself the prize and that's what i'm disagreeing with here that's exactly what mm-hmm. i'm disagreeing with okay so what you do with the prize the person who's the prize what happens to them i don't think they necessarily get taken care of but i think uh-huh. it's i'm not even saying that i agree with that concept but i do think it's a, more of a I bring value too to this relationship that True. I am also worthy of being pursued and you know, sought after. I'm mm-hmm. not again, no, I'm not I'm saying I agree with, with either side. I don't okay. agree with either side necessarily. Like I don't think I need to go to the mountaintops and say, I'm the prize because I got a degree and I got this okay. and I got somebody. I don't I'm not saying men yeah. should do that. But I do think that they're different ideas. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that prize. It, it just sounds hella suspect. I mean, yeah. you know, dudes, we're normally, you know, at least from, you know, my era, but we're normally say, I'm that dude, I'm that nigga. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Calling yourself the prize, it just, yeah, it's just a little too feminine. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's it's like, you know, where, where where are we going with this prize here? Like, you know what I'm saying? When you, when you think of a prize, you opening something up, like, like, like what's going on here? So. Yeah. 
mm-hmm. I can see a soft a, a soft relation now that we kind of unpacked a little bit more I see a soft relation but yeah this soft boy era is like they're literally saying like hey girl cash at me 35 to 50 dollars for a haircut and add a tip and mm-hmm. saying like girl you taking me because out you taking prize. me out to tonight type of thing like that's yeah, because- yeah, I don't because know. you think he's the prize. You think he's the prize. I, well, he yeah, want to be the prize, I guess. That's what it is with the software. Exactly. They, they want to be the prize. But we're going like, what the hell is this about? I thought you want to be masculine. It wasn't all this thing with the red pill of being masculine and being a man, taking care of everything, and this and that, a third, a woman, do what you say. You see, I, I guess they're throwing that shit out of the window now, I guess. That's I mean, why I think it's, it's a troll, because what they're doing is that they're trying to reverse all of those talking points that women have not even necessarily talking points but the things that women say like you gotta get my hair done my nails done and all that done. i think they're trying to do it like a, a reverse uno card on women <laughs> to kind of show them what it sounds like from a men's perspective I'm not saying that i i don't i really don't think dudes are moving like that honestly, they at a lo- on a large scale but i do think that it's like are, a uno yeah. reverse card for what women have done like these broke but, that, women. but see that's the thing like we can't have honest conversations right yeah. Because you just said you don't know. You I even heard you say up here you you well, don't you, even you didn't even know what it was. Yeah. Exactly. No, 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 but then you're saying, Well, I don't think this, I don't think that, but we hear these men saying it and they're not up there joking and laughing about it. They are serious. So I was saying I listened to a stream where a group of young men wanted mm-hmm. to know why do they have to protect their woman why the woman can't protect them and what they said was their life is valuable also and so if they want to leave and and run the woman is on their own in fact they want the woman to protect them she was that bond you know to 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 me like, go ahead, That's so. what they said. Like, I, this I, I gotta find that stream. Out of their mouth. I gotta find that stream. Yeah, I gotta find that stream, Bob. Okay, but, but I don't know. so I'm a lot. And see, that's why I said y'all don't. Have I know. I, I didn't say. I don't know. I didn't say that. I just now, wanted to find a channel. It's yeah, funny. but but see, I'm not even talking about you, so because I don't even know who you are. But okay, come on. You but know, some so, of these so men know me for years, and they can't never, never show where i lie about something okay okay so just ask so, for the stream so so, so bob, okay, no, bob i gotta ask you this now what <laughs> about the 4b movement now yeah the 4b movement that's a group of women who are mm-hmm. saying they are not gonna date men okay marry men have sex with men and have children with men okay so do you agree with that do i agree with that i think yes you, i think you down with a I movement think, where these women now yeah, don't are you sure you want to go on record saying you agree with this 4B movement? I yes, thought I this, agree. Is, this, is, it, this is detrimental to everything, ain't it? No, I I, I, I agree that there's a, a group of women who mm. uh, that's what they believe. And that's if that's what they want to do, they should be able to do that. Just like the men, the mectile who want to go their own way. So let's apply 4B to the Western world in America. You won't have yeah. no grandbabies out here, Bob. Yeah. Well, I'm not, I, well, um, there's a lot of stuff I you mean, ain't going to have. You ain't going to have no money you know either. I, you know what I but think? I have grandbabies already, and yes, we will have money. How are you going to have money? Um, you get most of the money I'm from the men. The four right? was over no, that's here, not true. These women have. are making more money than men. Yeah, so but, where, okay, where's but, the 4B? Is, is that taking place in, in one South of the Korea. Asian countries? It's South Korea. South Korea. Because, see, I was going to say, if it's. If because because you know, isn't South Korea one of those countries that's having a low birth rate or is that Japan? Yeah, it's, South Korea. it's actually both of them. Asia, yeah, it's actually both. Because mm-hmm. I was thinking, like, if this thing, this four B thing, picks up enough steam and actually starts getting popular in that country, you know, there's a potential that that country might revert back to to, to some old draconian type of practices, like kind of how like the the Taliban is doing in, in Afghanistan right now. Mm-hmm. But you, you know what I'm saying? Basically kind of if they see their population, because you know what happens when your population declines? Overall your society crumbles, you open up to invasion and just, you know, basically your your, your society just is on the verge of getting wiped out. Mm-hmm. I wonder if it, if it picks up enough steam over the years that the, the birth rates get so low that the government over there is going to start forcing people to have kids. You know no, the saying? government Force. is paying. They're paying women thousands well, of dollars. Yeah, but yeah, but they're still. 
Yeah, but I'm saying it, it might get to the to the point where they just stop paying and just start somehow forcing them to do it. You know what I'm saying? Just to yeah. <laughs> just to keep their populations, you know, from being decimated. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. it's kind of a wild thought. But, it's something that when you men say that, right? Because you're initially you're standing on the fact that men are violent. And when they yeah. want something, we can be. And they'll take it. Okay. I mean, humans in general have been pretty violent over over the uh, the millennia. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I, you know. Yeah, some. So, but you agree with the four because I don't see how how you can agree with that bomb because I mean, don't you make money off of the internet and all that? And, off of men, suspected men, you know, just you make money off the internet off of men too. Ah, uh, but, but that's that got nothing to do with that. That's that something <laughs> totally different. That ain't got, no, it's not. That you make money off no, of men like I make money off your looks. I don't, they don't pay me for most of my looks unless they on that other side or something. But most mm -hmm. of the time, they just don't need for the channel. But you, on the other hand, you said it, you know, so that's not gonna happen mm -hmm. if if the women just say, I'm not doing that no more. It, I'll make all the money. That means that. I will make more money. I will make more money, right? How? Oh, you, oh, I mean, you make more money, yeah, because if those women is, say no, yeah, you probably make more money. No, well, I'm not talking about me per se, but right? women will make more money. What right? women? Because how how men, women make more money if all the women because, is agreeing with this 4B move? Yes, because the only thing they're agreeing is that they're not going to date and marry um, men and have their babies. That doesn't mean that they're not going to live their lives so a woman can take okay. a picture. And so so she don't body. have no, no kids, so that means that, how 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 okay, how is she going to have a kid if she don't want a kid with She don't want kid? no kids. What they got to do with her job? Right, you, right. You just, it's, just, a job. it's basically just pump and dump for women. Like, what the have they've been doing that, Rich. It's not really new. The women not going to have sex with the men. But the reason why them women are doing this is because men, y'all have already said, Y'all don't want marriage, so why yeah, would a woman? It's a Korean okay. country, South Korea. Well, That's what you think we're talking about? I, I did not. The, the, okay, so men personally. don't want marriage. Okay, he don't have marriage, but he's still having sex with women. Yeah, but she so, don't so, want that. Why would she want that? Why would a woman want to have, have biological sex? Biological impulses. That yeah. Why would like, a woman? Why would a woman like, want to have sex with a man who ain't giving her nothing? You're not offering her marriage. You're not oh, the you're thing not that you want, so she can have a family. There are biological imperatives where men and women come together. Women have babies. Societies grow based upon the biological but you still, imperatives. You, see, that's what so I'm I don't saying. know why you're you asking why. You don't want to have a Your real conversation because you know what I asked and you're not answering it. I asked, why that's would it. a woman okay. Why would a woman have mm -hmm. sex with a man who already told her He's not giving her anything. He's not. He don't want to marry her. Okay. He don't want to take her in and protect her so they can have a family. Okay, but he, all he want to do is give her dick. Okay, that's that's all right. You know I why? Do that now, Bob. Yeah, she can go get, get another man that want to have family and all that. What? She can go get another man. Go find another man. I'm saying yeah, women do that. Women do that now, Bob. They don't want that. That's what no. It's Gen just Z. some men are saying that. Not all men are saying that. Gen Z's men. Or b saying that they don't want to get married. They are okay, so you marriage. really think that all those CG really men really that. believe that shit? You really believe so that some of them do that really believe that shit? That's all you got to do is look at the numbers. And yeah, yeah, and it probably is a low percentage of Gen Z wanting that. I mean, they just want like open relationships and poly and all the other bullshit. Thank you, so for having a real conversation. We all hear it. You know, real conversation because he agreed with you. <laughs> no, no, we all hear it. Do we hear it? They're telling. Um, the I mean, but but how that. long do you think that'll last? Because a lot of young people starting their life out, nobody exactly. wants to be in a serious relationship until you kind of get older, get a little bit more established in your career or profession, mm -hmm. and you just kind of want to get your settled down game on a little bit. So, I mean, yeah, show that, show that because even no, the older men are saying they're gonna get their money and then they're gonna get the well, younger is it, chick. Is it the, they're is it not the trying to get married men, to her, but is it with most about. of the older men have probably failed at long-term relationships that they just don't know how to go about doing it i mean that, and that's the reason why they keep preaching it because they've never really been successful at it i don't know why you're asking me that you don't even know the answer to that because that's not you what know, they're that's saying what i was asking they're not admitting <laughs> that they failed at anything 
I mean, like, yeah, that's what I'm assuming. Then, you know. Gene Dizzle had on that this conversation. You fell on that this conversation because you talking about some Gen Zs don't want this, Gen Zs yeah. don't want that. The age for Gen Z, the age range is from 11 to 26 years old. You yeah. tell you you telling me that you're really going to base a future of a generation whose oldest, whose eldest is 26 years old right now. What was y'all doing at 26? Yeah, Were y'all thinking about long term? I was thinking? married having my the, my son who was now 26. That's what I was doing. Okay, you like two, three generations. Listen, you prehistoric out here. That your okay. your mentality oh, so towards I'm two relationships. Two or three generations from who? Who am I two from, or three from, generations from? From now. So what I'm saying is that your generation's mindset is not that of now. A what do you mean of now? Is, so I'm not talking about married my at, mindset. You said you were married and having kids at 26, right? You the I'm one who saying asked me that 26 what I was year doing. To, oh I understand God. you're it saying is. what you were doing, but I'm saying oh. that 26 year olds are not. We're not even close to you doing what you did when you were 26. Yes, that's point. the point I was so making. I you think no, you I don't was, think and, 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 yeah, and you gotta understand that some of them can't get married anyway now because of. They just can't afford it. They can't get. They don't have a. They don't have enough money. Too. So what I'm mean, saying is that is the same thing what happened in South opinion. Korea. They say it. So I'm That's saying that right. a 26 year old's opinions about long term relationships isn't really relevant right now. They haven't even matured to the point where they can even buy. Look at millennials can't even buy buy, buy houses. That's that's like the big thing right now. So wow, you can't so even buy a even, dwelling. So, yeah, but y'all, we so could have bought houses even, back then. It was easy for us to buy a house back then, Bob. Come on. No, it's about know. life milestones. You being Listen, able to, to, I'm to, not, to secure. I'm not it's easy for us to buy a house back then. Y'all are saying to, now. Y'all are now making my point and those women point and even those young men's point that they do not want marriage and they don't want and i'm saying that you and cannot one of the look main at reasons a 26 year old of money and i'm saying that you cannot finance. look at a 26 year old in 2024 and base their opinions about marriage to their long-term goals for a generation i'm not wow. judging a generation off 26 year olds that okay. are the well, oldest i don't know why you're judging them anyway they do they're saying what they're saying they're living it because I don't know what you think a twenty-six year old is a full grown man. I mean, I no, no, like no, I'm not saying that. That's the 20s. oldest. <laughs> that's the I oldest of the generation. That. So that when you look at the average, full grown man. so when you look at the average, you're not looking at. It's not just twenty-six year olds. It's eleven year olds are the youngest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why would I even my, see? This is what I'm saying. By saying I Gen Z, talking to you're idiots. talking about no, no. I, no I am you're not an idiot talking about because you well, don't we know. got a point. Know the Gen Z start from 11, 11 to twenty six. That's the elder. The law is twenty six. So, so the rest of them just just getting out of high school or just going to first year college. They're not going to be doing. Come on, stop it. This is less, less, less. Those kids, the grandfather into a job, into a career that they the parents are doing. They 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 still trying to find themselves. I'm not basing opinions right? Right. of 11 to 26 year olds yeah. on their whole generation. But you want me to? That. You you you're no. telling me? No, that's that what I you're should. doing. You said Gen no, Z don't want. You I've said you literally. That was the point that Soul get, agreed with you on. And I disagree with Soul on that too. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you said that Gen Z don't want with, marriage and but relationships. I can tell you this. And I I'm saying both. that Gen Z is too well, young in order to even consider that right now. I don't think they care about marriage that much. But, you but they, know but they 11 to 26. Well, who so that's who a really cared about marriage in their early 20s? That's my point. That's that's my exact When point. I was in my early 20s, I never thought I'd be a father and married. Here I am, 44 you years old, been married for 18 damn years and got two kids. Now, explain. <laughs> this never what thought in my mind when I was in but college. You, you kind of give her a point, G. Dizzle, because you said 26. You that's 20, You was 26 years no. old when you got yeah, married. 26 right? is the there oldest you go. Right, 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 right. I, I'm with you, Gabe. I'm with you. I think, I, think, I think for her to better understand your point, though, Gabe, I think if you reference from 21 or 19 to 26, that's not enough. That's not enough. That's not enough grouping to, to really only thing. take their their whole position on <laughs> because they weird. still have 15 years behind them. Why are you 13, telling me what I understand them. with talking to these dumbass niggas? Because <laughs> <Why I, laughs> if, we, if we are talking about a generation, I'm back down. I'm back down. I'm back down. I'm back down. I'm, back yes, I'm, back I'm back. calling Gabe. Yes. I'm out of there. Gabe, dumbass nigga. I'll be that. Yes, be yes, oh, because be he that. he started to ask me why am I judging them and what they are saying. The only ones that they are even referring to will be the ones who would say they don't want marriage. An eleven year old is not saying that. So everything I've said is what they said. 
I didn't say whether I agree with it or not. And then he started talking about, well, you judging them and they love it. I am not judging them at all. So I think I made my point, Bob. No, uh, you did not make your point. It just seems like point. we're on different sides of the idea. Yeah. It's no, cool. it, it's not, it's not that. It. You have you don't have an understanding. And the reason why, because you're a, not really having a real conversation. I'm anything real I conversation. say. No, anything that okay, I okay, say, let me, you're on the opposite side. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's okay. why this is not a I real I just said I disagree with soul, too. I mean, soul. We okay, okay. Yeah. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let, me, let me ask y'all this. Okay, now, who is the majority of the men is in this space that's saying, don't get married, uh, I ain't trying to get married, and all that stuff like that. Who is it? Was the age group, actual age group of those particular men? Is it, is it men, men that been through it already and don't want to do it again, or is it older men, or is it just younger men? I don't think it's no Gen Z man because they ain't did, they ain't started out yet, really. It's by, the, by the most part, I can't be a hard part. The Gen Z they ain't started out really. They just now start now. Many, I don't think you're gonna find too many Gen Z people. That's what I'm saying. Place. They're probably gonna have to venture to TikTok. That's where they all hang out and reside. Oh, really? Because they show over there with me, and I and they are on oh. uh, panels that I'm on, and we see them even have a conversation with millennials. You know, we hear the conversation. If you're not in that space where you're listening, YouTube is pretty big. You know, to be honest, millions of different accounts and 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 uh, channels. So just because y'all don't go there, I understand that. Like you think this is new. You think it's new because you're just hearing it. Okay. So, but anyway, remember, I am not a Gen Zer. I'm only telling you what these young men are saying, the ones who are old enough to be on panels and to express that they're against marriage. But all of the men, like like uh Red just said, I've heard Obsidian say they're against marriage. Tommy so in my heart, all these men have been talking for many years. The men who gonna make town and saying really they're against example, marriage. Though. Because huh? Obsidian, he'll say in one breath he's against marriage, but then under another, then out the, out the side of his mouth, he'll he'll be preaching how people need to consider marriage or get marriage, or he won't take somebody serious if they're not married. Like I've heard him say these things. I, I agree. I, I, I don't you. know if he's a good person to uh, reference. You know. Well, I, well, he's a perfect person to reference. Because is he not in his fifties? Yes. And has he gotten married? No. And has he said he won't get married? Yes. So y'all are now saying, okay, they may say one thing and do another. I even agree with that. But I only mention what they are saying. I cannot foretell what people will do. I agree that a lot of people say a lot of things and do then do something opposite. But that wasn't what was asked of me. And that's all I'm saying. But I do have a millennial in my household and a zenial. They're only a year and a half apart. And neither one of them are thinking about marriage. Neither one. And it's mainly because of the men on the internet. You know, I was about to ask you, why are they not thinking about it? Like, what's the Because reason? of the men on the internet. In my household, mm -hmm. we are married. My family, we are married people. But it's a different generation. And that's what, you know, I hear all the time. They say, oh, you're from a different so, generation. So Mom, you got, you don't oh, I'm trying to understand. So you got two young people. I'm assuming these are your, your sons, right? Yes. Or, yeah, that live with you and your husband. Mm -hmm. And they see an example of a functional marriage. Yes. But yet they seem to be taking their cues about marriage from random people on the internet. I mean, how does that... How does that Wouldn't work? Wouldn't it be their peer group though, G Dizzle? More than I mean, exactly. they're random, but also their peer group because I'm sure they listen to people within their peer group. Most definitely, right? Because they tell me and my husband we don't understand. Like I hear that all the time. I know, Brad, you hear it when we're older. Don't the young people tell us, "Oh, you don't understand. You don't know what it is like that in the dating world. You don't know this, Mom. These women are not like you." Yeah. So okay. Yeah, we we you know, yeah. I, I hear that, but still, you know, they just don't understand. There ain't nothing too much change in the dating world. 
Since we were dating, I know. I think a lot is changing the dating world. Nah, nah, nah. I mean, yes, just I don't, social I don't media. Think you have social like, media now and this, the stuff, and you know. Yeah, we talk about this all the time on here, though. Where, but I they don't, don't think know that, how to go out and mate like we did. They don't know how to walk to a house and get the phone. Well, well, that, that's the problem. Exactly. That's the problem. Now, now, that's the problem. You, know, you just don't. You ain't physically seeing a person no more. Were you supposed? You know, if you did that, I think it would be having no less problems. Yeah. I agree. That's society as a whole, though. You know, I think they just want it easy. I don't. I don't think they. I don't think they want the. Rig- I. I think even older people who are in the dating scene don't really want the the hardship that come with dating nowadays. I, I don't. I think it's a myriad of things. I think it's social media. I think it's 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 the relationship with technology. I think it's a lot of things that kind of make dating hard, right? Like because it's 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 not even competitive anymore as as much as. You know, a person is just trying to see what they can get from you, right? Like, like nine times out of ten, it's not a genuine thing. It's like, all right, let me see how many dates he can take me on. Let me see if he got the bag, all that kind of shit. So it's not that same genuine what we would call what what courting, right? There's no courtship anymore. Exactly. Okay, courtship. You know, is going um, on. I, I do think have courtship a... is basically going on, right? Yeah, because uh, they want to Netflix and chill. You know, women do want to go out on dates, but even they have heard women say he got to make this amount of money or he need to take me and spend this amount of money on the first date. And this is what's going on. And, you know, um, hey, our generation, we don't think that's right. Yeah. Now, now, but, now, now, Bob, I want to add, say this because I think Josh came up here and we were talking about the four B movement. Now, he said that the most of the women that's going to agree with this movie is women that is. 35 and older, so women like yourself is older, they will agree with this more with this 4B movement than younger women. Do you agree with that? Uh oh, what happened? Repeat that question, Reg. Oh. Josh was up here the other day. We was talking about the four B movement. Now he was saying that most of the women that will agree with this movement will be older women, thirty five and old. No, and I'm asking: Is he is he right? I'm about to bomb this question. Wow. Is he right or is he wrong? I just don't think a lot, a lot of young women are going to go go with Why, this. Can I ask this question? This Why do you guys think that a movement that started in Asia will gain traction in America? Because of social media. <laughs> uh, you know, social media has, has broken down these borders, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know if it's going to pick up steam to that degree, but the mere fact that we're talking about it now and then I've seen you go on Google and type 4B. They got whole Wikipedia pages about this damn thing now. You know, maybe maybe it'll pick up some steam a little bit. You know, who knows? I don't know. Do you think it'll pick up steam in our community or will it just be like a uh, um, I, just a, you know, just a I guess a dynamic within women period, like, with, like you know what I'm saying, and young women, dating women, or do you think it'll be something that individual ethnic groups will will kind of you know veer to i don't really foresee it picking up steam in the black community like that now maybe certain pockets like if you got some some uh uber liberal chicks at college Mm -hmm. you know they might they, they might adopt that type of mentality or something like that but i don't I, I don't really see it gaining steam like that. Uh, see, my thing is, I, I think that it's doing that because passport bros see this as another impediment to their easy road, right? Like, mm-hmm. like it's something because passport bros check for Asian women just as much, probably more than they check for Latino women, right? We, we're just aware of the ones who've been in South America, Central America, you know what I mean? Shoe footing it, right? But most passport brothers or most guys who look for a model minority woman is looking for an Asian woman. Okay. So but but can that affect the passport brothers? Because what if this movement That's what I'm saying. Like, that's over what I'm saying. there starts spreading from 
South Korea to these other Asian countries and it will they'll start adopting. Them. It will affect them. Because their easy game, now this is a block to their easy game. This mentality is like, well, I don't need you either. Like, I don't want to fuck with you either. Even if they got money, it don't matter. Right, it this don't is, matter. That's what I'm saying. It's, It's kind of I'm kind of glad I'm married, man. <laughs> it, just, it just seems too complicated out there, man. I think I'm just riding out with my wife, man, as long as I can. Now, the only thing I do have to worry about, I do have a 17 year old son. Because G Dizzle, me and you both know, right? You, me and you both know, most of them niggas who got that little one year in Korea, a lot of them pops up with babies. Yeah. And I was I, stationed I mean, on air bases in Germany and Italy, and them white dudes all had Korean girlfriends and wives. Yeah, they was, they was over there marrying the juicy girls. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they, they they marrying the women who, who wanted was looking for them green cards, especially in, in, in Korea, right? All them black men was marrying them prostitutes. But anyway, um, how y'all doing? I'm sorry, my phone rung. Um, so, yeah. Black men marrying women out of the country. Okay. How, how many of them still married? Like years later, she comes over here. Uh, she brings her mom, her family over here. She become, and then uh, they get divorced. She'll have a baby or two. Yeah, of course. Jeezy is the best example of that, bitch. That Jenny Ma took that nigga for a loop to loop. <laughs> That's right. They all that think they have that loop to loop. Nigga, how you spend all those years on the street selling bricks, getting money, and you got suckered by a bitch on a C level, a C level actress bitch on a bootleg talk show. And all she had to do was give him one child, huh? Now they she moved her mama <laughs> in. Her mama said, This baby ain't gonna be raised black. Keep that nigga shit over there. Mm. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> And then agreed to the divorce and then turned around and said, Eh, yeah, Anna, can you give me some time to think about it? I don't think I like the conditions of this. That's right. Well. Mm. What's up, keep it tacky? Hey, what's you happening, sleep? bro? You sleep over there? What you doing? Nah, man. I, uh as soon as I so I came up, and right when I came up, I got a damn call from work. And so I just I just I just uh, got back and was just sitting there trying to catch up because I totally forgot about this whole. Forgot all you two check motherfuckers. On. My phone won't turn back on. <laughs> yeah, that's that's. <laughs> what the got. fuck? The My way they make this will sh- not turn back on. The battery just died. I charged the motherfucker up, and now this motherfucker will not turn back on at all. Yo, the way they make this stuff nowadays, bro, Barely like these phones, dead. they. They don't make them to oh, where you can repair them. They want you to buy a new a new phone, bro. So huh? are you huh? gonna pay two hundred and fifty to get it repaired by Apple? Oh man, what the fuck? Or <laughs> get a new phone? That's the that's and I, I hate to say it because I be telling I be having to tell people I be like, bro, you like I can open it up and look at it, but I avoid the warranty. Uh, I don't hey, know. Hey, my phone won't turn that's back on. That's the thing. You can't even get the ports. Like you got to go through loops uh, to get actually get that. You got to be certified by Apple to even get the 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 genuine ports. Damn. And then they even make it to where if you like a gen like you not approved by Apple, if you put something different in there, like the same the right even if it's the right hardware and everything, if they didn't approve it to go in that phone, your shit won't turn on. Mm. If you take it to one of the repair shops. They don't want you to buy another phone. Then. That's what. Yeah. Is, like the screen, it it'll work for a little while, and then it'll recognize that it came from a different phone, and then it'll shut off. The game is cold. <laughs> yeah, you might as well just get a new phone, bro. I mean, I I know that shit expensive, but you might as well, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
All right, well, can we have a soft Eric conversation? Because I really think that shit is some booty <laughs> shit. What the soft like, boy like Eric? Edward Anderson mm-hmm. promoting soft, promoting that. Now I, I didn't know that he was promoting it. You know until so him. I'm a, oh, no, no, it was gay. Gay. Gay brought it up. He brought brought it up. Yeah. What's a soft? What's the, what the fuck is that? that moist sounds... niggas. Moist niggas want to be women. Oh, Dudes that want to be kept. They want yeah, the woman paying for their. <laughs> they want the woman paying for their haircuts. Yeah, let me. Uh, Niggas want to be Walker. Number. Let me, let me read. That's crazy. Let me read this definition. Okay, this definition is men who challenge gender stereotypes through their physical appearance, attitude, and interest. Oh, but shit. but ain't that ain't that always been the case? Like a lot of these, you know what they call. Oh, what you would call like a pretty boy or something like that. A metrosexual. Chicks be, chicks be spending money on them. They be buying them PlayStations and shit and, and all that or whatever. Uh-uh. Like, like that's I think, I think it's, on, I think it's right? a slight. You ain't buying no, no goodies for no uh, metrosexual. Them other men, you men yeah, buy that shit niggas. for them men. Metrosexuals don't get shit unless it's an ugly chick. Like the bad bitches be buying the dirty niggas the games and shit like that. You know what I mean? The niggas with the dreads, the homosexuals, they get all the little trinkets and shit till till she ain't making noise no more. Cause I mean, don't don't you remember that used to be an argument though? They would say the uh what they call them hobosexuals. Mm -hmm. Ain't that the same thing? A hobosexual is not a it's not about attraction. A hobosexual is not about how attractive the guy is, it's about what game he ran and lay on her couch. Okay. Yeah. They saying these guys yeah. wear nail polish and you know they wear oh, hair yeah. long. Well, never mind. That's some gay shit. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. Wearing co- whole, pastel colors. Whole, you know. A whole a hobo sexual is a man who's like a bum. He don't have his own car. He don't have a house. He's living with a woman. He's like a hobo. All he's doing is laying pipe. That's his only, yeah, that's his that's only rent that he pays. Yeah. Yeah, I pipe. got you. You got this K-pop type of look. That's basically what it is. It's a guy like this, but he still he still bang women. Apparently, it don't matter what his look is. That's what I'm saying. It's, he broke. Well, it does matter. I mean, you no, sexuality in... is no, going out the door, man. Sexuality okay. is going out the door. You're not going to be with man. Bomb. You're not going to be with no guy that look like the K pop dudes. Come Motherfuckers on. is trisexuals now. They got a lot of black women who like Koreans. K pop dude. <laughs> these black women are into these uh, Korean men. We ain't talking about being a Korean. This what they the motherfucker look like. Cause, cause but, yeah, we, we talking about Rudy. niggas who metrosexuals and yeah, shit. Yeah, metrosexual type of guys. We talking about That's Kevin Samuels. Oh, God Kevin Samuels. So didn't Kevin Samuels have a lot of women who was interested in him? That's because yeah, he was because they, because they was cat. He was catty. <laughs> like that. It was, it was mostly because, you know, he looked like he had money. The women who was interested. Other than that, I don't know what else they... While living in a hotel room. Mate. <laughs> Freaking. So, but everybody got their own, you know. When it comes to looks and things like that, we all have a different idea of what we're attracted to, you know, as women. Yeah, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and that goes right. for both sides. Yeah, exactly. Except men, you know, they like to get together. And when I say men, I'm not talking about y'all up here. I'm not even talking. I'm not. I'm just saying what the men say. But I agree just because they say. It doesn't mean they really feel that way. But, you know, remember um, Obsidian used to uh, claim he didn't like big women. And I used <laughs> to tell people I know he liked big women. I, then, you know, he'd he be like, you know, calling people women fat and things like that. But he liked BBW. He showed me a picture. He said, Bob, you're nothing like this. And he sent me the picture on my panel. And it was a big woman. Mm. <laughs> so... I mean, his his girl is was big. I mean, he looked like she lost some weight, but you know, he said he was with he's been with her for like what over a decade. So he and must have gotten with her when she was big. <laughs> so remember, remember you know. when he was claiming he had no woman? I kept telling people he had a woman. People wouldn't believe me, man. That's what I'm saying. I'm shocked when people deny anything I say. I I don't. Just say shit, no reason. Unless I'm cracking the joke, now I'm cracking the joke. But yeah, oh. I, don't, I don't know why he would deny his his woman that he was with. But you know, I guess that's what internet niggas do. I guess I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he been doing that forever. People were shocked that he had a woman, and then when they saw a photo, uh, 
the man was really shocked then. I think that's when he lost all credibility and that's when his channel started going down. Because he was... Well, his channel actually, before he got kicked off, it was moving. It was, this, was it moving like it used to be moving? No, it was moving. Nah, he was said he was doing numbers before he got yeah, kicked. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what I'm you're talking about. He always did numbers. I didn't not, say not he really, wasn't doing not numbers. Really. He was stagnant. Nah, he, he, he was, was yeah. yeah, he was really. I think he was starting to pick up more more speed. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Than than previously. Yeah. Lord, my God. <laughs> Y'all just say any. We're damn not saying thing. anything. It's true. It's just, fact. Dead ass serious. You, I you didn't say it. that he oh. that he didn't have any people following no, him. No, no, no. You saying you you said that he wasn't doing good. I we did not say he wasn't you that doing he good. Was doing way better than Ooh. he was. He was he was actually gaining steam. As far as I knew, Obsidian had always had a large following. It was That's stagnant. All I saw with it you. was stagnant for a okay, while. Okay, you say it's stagnant. stagnant. Okay, but, but I was never it, saying it was, that he fell off. I never said that he fell off. The only thing he uh, happened is that he's not longer on YouTube. So I'm not the one. I didn't say he fell off. As far as I knew, he always had a large audience. Yeah, he had a pretty decent. But like, um, the only time he like really fell off, I guess, in the middle of it was when he tried to do that whole going over. To, what was it Mixler or some shit? Mm -hmm. Yes, his is. channel yes. kind of yeah, his yeah, channel man, went dead off the end, during yeah. that time period, and then when he came back, hopped on Benoit train to kind of build it back up. So yeah, I see what y'all what y'all both saying. So right, so that's all I was saying. Like I I I've always liked Obsidian. You no, know? it's funny. He was funny, entertaining. Thank I you. used to ask him why he let Kevin uh, take credit for his stuff. And I used to like, dude, you the real talent. Why you let Kevin take your stuff? So yeah. Um, but he was the whole time acting like he wasn't in no relationship. That he gonna be he said he's gonna always be a bachelor. And yet he had a woman. Yeah. He's a confirmed bachelor. That was, that was his actual term. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> confirmed bachelor. So, but I know, I, I, you know, I know it's about money, and it, that's what I'm. That's the dangers about the internet. The dangers is that people out here saying anything, and young people are looking for answers, and they are looking for the easy route. Men want the easy route to, if they want a family, they want somebody to tell them how to do it. And here we got the fresh and fit over there talking about you shouldn't be with this type of woman, that type of woman. You shouldn't do this, do that. And then here they are doing the opposite. Um, Kevin Samuels was saying certain things and come to find out where well, we knew he was gay. Okay. <laughs> he get caught up with a trans woman. Um, what? He ain't yeah, got, he he got, got, caught up with no trans woman. You yes, said he got caught he up with, with a trans, with a trans woman. woman. Yes, yes. Where, 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 when, when, when is that? When, when this happened? Oh, yeah. my God. He ain't never, I ain't even heard he got caught up with no trans. Yeah, okay. this is the like, first time I'm hearing you, this. Well, I don't know how. I've been telling people this, and a few of us have been telling people. Okay. But there's a lot of things. Uh, so, yeah, a trans woman. Okay, well, trans woman. who's a trans woman? The trans woman was the person who, that apartment that he was staying in, that's the person who that apartment belonged to. That's why that when they asked him where he, you know, ask that woman where he lived, what's the address, and they and she said Kevin fucking Samuels. She didn't really give no information because that place wasn't in his name. But what it was. Where he died at? What what's where he died at? Yes, what? I'm talking about when he died. That's what. How I'm does that? About. How does that prove that was a trans woman though? Oh my god! You mean the, you the Mexican <laughs> woman that he was with? <laughs> I mean, I'm trying with. to understand. You, 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 you was you a trans woman, that, but I'm, I'm looking okay. like how, how does that prove I, that was a trans woman? Listen, I. The Mexican woman that he was with was a trans woman. That's what you're saying. Uh, that that's not exactly what I said. But the Mexican woman that y'all thought he was with was not the woman he was with when he passed away. Wait a minute, it was so another get, woman. Yeah. Oh, so he was, wasn't about so, to bone a Spanish chick. So it was two yeah. women in the place. Then you saying it was two women in the place? Oh, so it was some Teddy Pendergrass yeah. shit going on. <laughs> I want to. Y'all don't know the Teddy Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm confused. How, how how do you know this was a trans woman? 
Okay, Bob. I mean, uh, you, I, you stated, but you haven't explained how you know this. I know. I just like just like when I told people he was living, he was he got caught up with a man in bed. I know I was saying things, but even when we saw things, I mean, but I'm I was legitimately eyes, y'all asking see you a question. I, I know well, y'all asking question. me many questions. I'm but trying to if y'all yeah. just, just one now, question. Go and find it out. Like it's, okay. it's out there. His okay, family. okay. Do you so, have a link or something you can provide? Like <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to figure out listen, how do we get here. I, so yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how. Many, okay, so stick to it. wait a minute. Okay, so when he died, it was two women in the place. Mm-hmm. It, okay, so, so he wasn't having sex with the with the Mexican the, woman. He was having sex with the trans woman. The Mexican woman was a cover. That's, is this what you're trying to tell me? Well, she was. But that's Mexican, not what I'm. That's Puerto what Rico. you just said. But I didn't say anything like that. I didn't even mention him having sex with this particular person, right? I didn't say that. Y'all, you were saying. That. How do, you, how do you know all this information, Bob? I mean, that's all you have to do. Y'all, y'all didn't want to see is... what y'all, y'all didn't want to see what y'all Godfather was doing. He's not like, my Godfather. He ain't my, I mean, my Godfather. You know, this is just a legit question. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out how do you know all these intimate details? Nah, Bob, we ain't we ain't Kevin saying was lovers over yeah, here. We're not, oh, I know yeah. you. Oh, I, I remember when there used to be a lot of Kevin Samuels love nah, over here. No, 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 over here. No, it was over here. You getting it? But, um, he talked about us when him and Obsidian was having that little yeah. shit. They would talk about me and Reg, what I had said about him that day. Yeah. Oh, I'm not talking That's about you and from. Reg. Y'all not the only people over here. Oh, no, so you're no, talking about the other people over here. Like, only one is like, not Aries. Um. Warren, I don't want you know. I don't want to talk about a brother that's not here, but like <laughs> Warren, a few other mm-hmm. brothers, but not too many people over here were really Kevin Samuels defenders. Like they didn't really like us attacking them, but they wasn't necessarily defenders of. Them. Oh, okay. Well, I just want to know how the, no, you know, how they, you know they, all these intimate details. Oh, that, uh, that's a lot that I was saying know. about Kevin for years. That's you don't remember? Well, some of y'all knew, and maybe you don't know me, but I used to be on here breaking down all his lives. Right, um, telling people that he wasn't college a college graduate, said that he was lying about any jobs that he claimed he had, and I showed proof. Like I've gone through this. Yeah, but but that no, he, that proof came out before you said anything. Other people no, already exposed him about the college and all that stuff way before you said anything about it. No, that's a lie. That's a lie. You wasn't the first one exposed that shit. Uh, I'm okay. Well, who was? It was some other people. It wasn't you. Who? Okay. Uh, it I wasn't can say you. one person uh, okay, right Gabe, now. Okay. Gabe actually tried to confront Wait. him on that shit. This happened like this happened um when cuz the reason everybody actually was able to validate it was he said that he he had a degree and all this stuff chemical or whatever the engineering degree was, but mm-hmm. then as soon as he went on to Vlad TV, mm-hmm. that's when it came out that he never graduated. Uh huh. So he had been yeah. lying the whole except, time. Except, except for three, four years before that happened, I was already telling people that he was lying. Yeah, I gotta say he wasn't did. even relevant. So three, listen, you three don't. Years before you that, don't know what you're talking saying. about. But I've been on here and I've been on panels he, with Kevin. He Samuels. wasn't relevant for three. Oh uh, yes, yeah, Kevin Samuels that. always had a, a group of people following him. One at one point, it was a lot of women. Before we, that, he was over there. It was a lot of women. It was a lot of women. We used to talk about the dude with the make. I mean, with the uh, the perfume and stuff. We wouldn't. No, I mean, nobody was rocking with that dude. He had his own like his own following. It wasn't even. Yes, 100%. I just said it's following. It dude. wasn't even. But it wasn't over here though. Okay. That's my point. But my point was even before. All I said was before. For y'all, that bad thing. I've been on Kevin Stearman's head. In fact, he asked another group of people to please stop me from doing what I was doing. All right. So okay, well that might have been okay. So like, it could be it could be proven that he didn't have a college degree. Fine, we we, we we'll, we'll all roll with that, right? You My ain't question got no is, <laughs> uh, well, of course. My question He's now fine. is, only, but now my only, question is. Mm-hmm. How do how, how do you how did you come across this proof and evidence of the trans woman? Yeah, that's why I want to still ain't address that. The same, yeah. the, the, the same way. The same how? Way I knew about it. How? Through you got cameras in his apartment. In like, how did this happen? I, I think she doxed him, y'all. I, I, think she <laughs> I didn't dox him, that, but it seemed like that's what people dox. want me to. That's what people want me to do now. All I'm saying is, you could go in and look this stuff. Up. Okay, looking from where? Where can we look it up at? Just just look up look up his name. And it was a trans woman in the room. 
What? If we look it up, it's gonna say it was a trans woman in the room that he was. Did y'all so having sex with? Tell me instead what you of a Mexican think, woman. Tell me what you think you heard me say, not what you said that I said. When I mentioned trans woman, what did I say? A trans woman is a trans woman. What is the definition of trans yes, woman? I, I simply he said, said that he lived with a trans woman. I when he, I he, said he that he with was a trans dealing, woman. Yeah. When I say that he was dealing with a trans woman. Okay, dealing That's with trans woman. That doesn't I, mean he was I living with her. He was dealing with her. What do you mean dealing? Sleeping with her? Yes, he was in a relationship with her. Okay, how yes. long? You know how long it was with the trans woman? Oh, my God. Just go, look, go ahead. I'm look trying up. to figure, look at, I, look, what up? Tell us where to look I it up have, at. All right, I see oh, it right I'm here, just, y'all. All right, I see it, I see it. Kevin Sam was rumored to have been living with a trans. Rumored to have been living with a trans woman who was a hooker at their apartment prior to his death. Oh no! Who said this now? It's a this lot of people for- on Twitter. I'm looking at it on Twitter. I'm looking. It's a lot of places. It's been out for a while, y'all. Just it's like when five. He- of Kevin Samuels' trans girlfriend. It's on TikTok. It's on <laughs> the Hill. Yeah. And nobody that has woman, that woman who, who he got caught is. with. I'm that looking for that now, bro, and I don't Twitter see that, bro. I'm with, for I'm, I'm, I'm with you, bro, and I don't see that at all. Yeah. I don't see any confirmation. I just see there's a lot no of... There's no confirmation. I see a lot of conjecture and a lot of... Uh, and just even, everybody if, even if he conjecture. was dealing with a trans, uh-huh. it would probably be in the trans's benefit to come out and say, hey, I'm the trans that was dealing with Kevin. Nah, because he was trans a, get killed, bro. Like, Why would like the trans that. do that? Are you serious? They, they, they come out all the time and do this type okay. of stuff. Okay. Well, what, mm-hmm. what I would suggest you do is look at that police report. Y'all don't remember the one that was okay, uh, the dealing with what's that that name? No trans? Bobby Valentino? Well, all you, all you got to do is read that police report. Go okay, ahead. Okay. Okay, well, what did the police report say? Did the police report say well, that that woman was a trans? going to say that you men, the men who lied and was claiming that he was over there with this certain type of woman, right? And that she tried to save his life and all that stuff, okay. right? And then that, remember they said, well, she left her name and everything like that. Well, go read the police report and you'll see that what people was lying about, um, how that went, it didn't really go down that way. Oh, okay. So the person who who was up there, when they left, they didn't even want to give their real name, but how is it that these men found another woman who it would have been in her benefit? Remember, they offered her lots of money to tell her story. Who offered her money? Yeah, I don't keep up with this. Uh, the, the guy, what's his name? The one. All right, here's what it says. Here's what it says. Let me read it real quick. Let me read it. Social media exposed rumors the surface that Kevin Samuels had passed away. The relationship lifestyle coach grew was rumored to have died in an apartment that had no official confirmation. Blah 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 blah. Many people online do the conjecture. Uh, it says now rumor. Okay, it's a rumor. Now rumors surfacing about the woman says it with the person is said to be a thirty-year-old trans woman who was a cooker, saying was also allegedly living in an apartment with them due to not being able to rent a place of his own. That's right. That's who name it was in. Is so, this in the police report? Yeah. The person's name who apartment it was. So the apartment, the lie. guy, the person the apartment name was, in, was the, uh, under a trans woman. Kevin Samuel's apartment was in a trans woman's this definitely, name. This is not a black person that's doing it. Yurik uh, Andriashik. But this is not a black person who's doing the um the writing. Okay, so From is Mad this, is, magazine, so, actually. So they got a police report. In Atlanta, right? So you can go to the police and actually pull the police report up. Yeah, I thought they did that on the pepper paperwork party or whatever. I don't remember them saying anything about yeah. a third person, but I mean, hey, if it's true, it's true. It I, I ain't got nothing invested in this. I don't know how you know old John are. I, I just don't know, know how, how old John are, but <laughs> like a lot of people didn't believe Teddy Pendergrass. They didn't believe that story until it came full circle that it was definitely a tranny in the car with him and uh, Kurt Turquoise Irving, which at that time was Dr. J's wife. Well, I mean, up until Dr. J, you know, son killed himself and the, that tennis player chick said that was her dad. They was married and Turquoise Irv- Irving was in that van when that van crashed and caused Teddy Riley, I mean, Teddy Pendergrass to be uh, paralyzed. Yeah, I remember somebody talking about that story. Yeah. What I- about, who is that uh, comedian, the one who did wrong? Eddie Murphy. About Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy got caught with a trans woman. Yeah. Like a lot, you know, a lot of people. Yeah. So, but you think in the report it says trans woman? 
if it weren't for somebody being there and seeing and knowing the information and linking yeah they just gonna put woman or yeah right i'm like that so the reason when that woman called and said kevin fucking samuels remember she was on the phone and it would have if the apartment was in his name they would have been able to trace it through his name right because she had already told him with the with a, a building she just didn't know the apartment number but because it wasn't in his name that's why they didn't know where to come they couldn't find it that way and then they was claiming that she was a nurse they was claiming that she was a nurse but remember just in the phone call you could tell she wasn't no nurse and then the reporter comes to find out it wasn't a nurse. The information that we got on YouTube was from men. Kevin Samuels so, so, so to was take men's over. fault for giving you this information. That's what you're saying now, too. What? So it's a man's fault or in this space for giving this information about the truth. Well, we already know that you, you, these men was talking about protect them at all costs. They didn't care if he was lying, if he was telling the truth. They just were like, protect him at all costs. But I'm not saying that it's men's fault. I'm saying, though, that there was a group of men who was protecting Kevin, and they put out information. Remember, that was a video where they was claiming that was Kevin Samuel's uh, funeral, and they had a lot of men, right, dressed in suits, little boys. They was claiming that was at his funeral. What are little boys doing here? Huh? What are little boys doing at his funeral? What what the what are you just saying about? Boy kids can go to funerals. I'm saying they put out a video and everybody was dressed just like Kevin would be dressed, right? Nice suits, hats, ties, uh the pocket squares, and those and these men in this area was lying and saying this is Kevin Samuel's uh funeral. Like they were doing all kinds of, they were putting out all kinds of misinformation. Just like that that woman over there, she was there when this shit happened. What her name? Um, the one who was trying to date him, one who stole her children's um account, and 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 her, her ex husband had to sue her. Melanie Melanie King. Also, oh, you saying Melanie? It's, ru it's rumored that she was there when he died. Then she came online and played like she couldn't contact him. Oh my God, I haven't heard from Kevin. So, and wait a minute. So, place. she was there at the place too, you're saying? Yeah, it's rumored that she was there, yes. So, that, that's, that's three women. Who are, no, who are she's two she's women and, and a, and a, and a, and a, and a non biological woman. Oh right? My God. That was it. No. Yeah, I'm lost, Dark man. Pepper. I don't even care about this shit. Um, okay, well. and that's what because I mean that dude was never that important to me in any way. So I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And people didn't find out that he was lying about his college, but I had been telling them for years. Not just me; it was a few of us. You, you was know, telling we got them about the college for years. Yes. For years. I thought that came from somebody else. How did that didn't come yeah, from you? Yeah, it came from me, and it was a few of us, but yeah. No, that came from somebody else. Because you said but three years ago, Bomb. Bomb, you what? said three. You said three years. I did not say that, three years ago. No, no, I'm saying earlier. You said three years. Uh, I did not that. say no three years. Uh, okay, Kevin I'm, been dead for about two years. Well, yeah, I know. I know. I'm talking about when you said somebody you else said he it. got big three years ago. I did not say no three years. No, I'm and not you know talking what? I don't about. Have to lie because I'm not talking. I have I'm not talking about that. Uh, I'm talking about oh. you said. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not talking about that. I, I, oh. or I, maybe you misunderstand what I'm saying. I'm saying okay, like you. earlier you said um, that you had was telling everybody three years before it actually before people started talking about it, like three years, I think that's what you said. Is that what you said? You said like three before years- Before people started talking about what? That his uh, degree was was fake. Yeah, I told, I, I told people that his degree was fake. Yes. Three over years three before years everybody. Ago. Yeah, over over three years before that. But that's yeah. crazy. And, and, the, and the thing that's that I'm insane. saying is, the thing that I'm saying though, like it, it he only got popular like a, a year before that actually, came out and he was relevant before that that's mm -hmm. what I'm, i mean he was irre irrelevant 
Only no, people he wasn't pop irrelevant. Up on, no, listen, li- listen to what I'm saying, though. Oh, my uh, God. And let me tell you my perception, because okay. I was here, too, but I was mm-hmm. I may not have may, may not have been in the same spaces as you. But okay. the only spot that I heard that dude being at was like BGS and like mm-hmm. Angry Man's chat. Mm-hmm. Before mm-hmm. that, nobody was talking about that guy over here. They said, oh, mm-hmm. he's and then when he came on O'Shea's panel, that's mm-hmm. when a lot more people started actually seeing who the fuck this guy was. Because everybody mm-hmm. else looked at him like some gay dude over here talking about perfume and all that shit. People were calling the dude gay and clowning him. You know, nobody mm-hmm. was really supporting that guy over here or anything. But I don't, X, I don't X, remember X nobody calling him fruity. I think we started the whole fruit narrative. I don't remember people earlier in the game. Well, yeah, they probably fruit. wasn't saying that. But they, yeah, they was because yeah. they was rocking. They wasn't necessarily rocking with him. But I get what you're saying because he wasn't really accepted like that. Right. Yeah, like, it took really him a while to, to be accepted over here. To, Right, so yeah. he had to work hard to kind of get a space to speak, right, and that's mm-hmm. why he switched his paradigm up to the to the to the to the talking points about men and women relationships. Like she kind of made a point earlier when she said he stole Obsidian shit, and Obsidian was the talent. But yeah, Obsidian, that's true. I agree. But Obsidian don't have the physical face and the physical presence <laughs> to gather what he did. We can all agree mm-hmm. on. That. Kevin I, didn't I, have it either. It's almost like I said the other day about Little Big Nate. Little Big Nate had a following until he showed himself. Yep. Yeah. I told, and I was telling men that too, right? I was telling all these men, why are you following men? I could tell these men's voices, what they look like. I'm like, and I would tell the men, you wouldn't even follow him if you met him in person. If you saw him, you wouldn't, he wouldn't be the dude you would be following. But Kevin wasn't a the dude they would be following either. Because see, I remember Kevin. Yeah, somebody said he was irrelevant. I don't know when when you're talking about. He Kevin was. A, he was doing the fashion was, thing. He was. Nobody was fucking with him before oh, before, 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 BGS, with him. before BGS. Nobody uh-huh. over here in this black manager space was BGS. Bring him over here. It was BGS yes. that brought him over. To, okay. Yes. That was but some years ago. That was time, yeah. It took a long time. That was how long ago? How long? Ago? I didn't even know. That BGS was four that years, time, almost period. basically four years ago. Okay. I had and he was only famous, I, famous I, I only a year and a half. Basically, he was really I, I was famous. Than that, okay, nah. before two thousand. No, it was no before. No, no, it was. I was beefing with Angry Man and BTS nah. in two thousand eighteen, nineteen. Reg before the pandemic hit. Reg, that's so right. I got to remember the pandemic. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm saying I said years before. I said it was years no, before. No, not a year before. I, I said years, like, years niggas, before. Oh, it was years. before, before, okay. before Angry Man got the uh, mercenary army and all that shit. Him and him and um, him and my man. What's my man? Name? No, Kevin Samuels came in. Right, yeah, but then nobody still wasn't fucking him like that. They was, you know, he nah, was nah, part he, of the space because he used to be on that. He used to have those fucking Steve Harvey slash fucked up suit, zoot suits on and shit. That's he used right. to have that blue zoot suit, that brown suit. Like this is when I first cut in. This is when I was fucking with the nigga Max that I was down with Obsidian and them, right? Not Obsidian, down with um Angry Man. What's Angry Man? What was his right hand man name? What was Grinch. Oh, uh, Grinch. Grinch. No, not Grinch. The other motherfucker. Grinch wasn't the leader. The other because it was Angry Man and the other dude. Damn, and I like this nigga. Can't remember this. Who are you talking name. about? I'm not talking about Cerulean. the officer. Cerulean. 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 Oh yeah, Cerulean. Oh yeah, Cerulean. Cerulean. Oh. Cerulean. Oh. You gotta remember it was BGS, Angry Man, and Cerulean, and like oh, and and they kind of you know what I mean would would partner up with O'Shea once in a while, right? And then they kind of brought up City, and then and that's how they kind of made the trifecta. And he was in between that BGS O'Shea shit and that Angry Man shit, and then that's when he kind of carved out his own lane. Once Obsidian started really hanging with, kind of took that, and then ran because that's when I first came to this space. I was fucking exactly. with the nigga Maximum Black. Well, because he was an art boy, yeah. And he used to okay. be like, "Yo, no art, man. Come over, come over to my boys, man. Late night, you know what I mean? Because I used to kick it with them niggas until I found they was all a bunch of dirt bags and shit. But I used to fuck with them niggas, heavy, heavy, yeah, heavy. And Kevin, so y'all, right when you say that Kevin wasn't big, but Kevin would slide through, and Angry Man or Cerulean you know, or somebody would advertise and say, "Hey, if you want suits." This is the man to check out. You looking for a certain okay. type of cologne? Everybody know, that's check when out. BGS brought him in. That's, that's right, a, but that, that was, was 2000. That had to have been 
Yeah, 2016, maybe 2017. It was yeah, no, that's no, a, it was no 2016, bomb, no. 2017. But that's my, yeah, that's my yeah, point, bro. though, Bond. It was, like, it was. No, it no, was. That was when the war was still going on. Hell no. It was after that. It was it had to be after that. No, because no, but he no, wasn't even. Kevin Samuels was not. No, no, no. Kevin Samuels was not in that round 2017. He was. Yes, he was here. He was. He was. Well, I didn't know about him. I didn't I didn't know about him either. That's yeah, what I'm saying. He was, was, was he, he was popping in and was. popping off. Yeah, that that's what I'm saying. I, I, I and and y'all right about that. He he was here because I remember Angry Man bringing up some of his old live streams, mm. uh, and uh, and this was like right after <laughs> Kevin blew up or whatever, and uh, he wasn't. I think he was upset at one point, but then he was supporting him at one point too. But he pulled up some old streams and was like, "Yeah, Kevin was in my. You see Kevin right there in my in my chat." So that was back in 2016. But everybody wasn't listening to that, to, uh, to that dude. And now I'm I'm saying that so? I'm comparing that. No, listen to it. I'm not I'm not saying he was he wasn't in the space. I'm saying okay. he wasn't like a major fit like me. I was okay. shot it out on. I was shot it out on. I was back here in 2016, but everybody oh didn't fuck with me. Like a okay. lot of people in this space didn't fuck with me, and it was the same for him. That's that's my okay. Point. Now well, go back. Samuel was in Remember, the fashion thing. You, he got you, most of his views because he did for fashion. Yeah, because he had a specific. He had, thing yeah, okay, that he he, so about. he made his thirty thousand okay. or fifty thousand through fashion only. Yeah. So he, he he already had fifty before when he started coming. People started recognizing him in this space. Yeah, he didn't yeah. get that shit and, from nobody in here. He got that on his own. And that's why that's I'm comparing right. it. And that's the why fashion. I'm comparing it to me. Like like I was I wasn't no major figure, but I came yeah. around. I hopped in mm -hmm. the chat, and I'm not trying to use me as no example. I, I'm I, I know I'm I I don't look at myself as bigger than anybody or anybody like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But but. I was here. A lot of people knew my name. They would say my name or whatever. Mm -hmm. They would shot my channel out if you're looking for Linux. But I wasn't no major figure in this space. So but that's I didn't what I'm say that he Kevin... was major. You, okay. I, I oh, I'm said that I've been bad. calling him out since. Okay. Right? That's yeah, all yeah. I said. And then, then y'all started talking about, well, how could you be calling him out that long ago if he wasn't big? And I didn't say he was big. But he was big enough. He did come over here with a lot of people. Well, I just because he was on that didn't... cologne and that fashion, and he was on panels with me. And I went after him because well, he was he on a panel with you. When when was this? We was over there by Taz, and and we was over there actually not even by Taz. We was on Renaissance Woman thing that she was doing every morning, and he begged them to stop me. He was he was like, "Can y'all ask her?" There. That was huh? that shit. That was that shit was nuts back in. You the remember day. that? You remember uh, that? Yeah, who don't remember Renaissance women early morning shit? That's right. <laughs> That's what her and City and began a little beef and war and shit. That's right. So Kevin came over there, and I did not know who he was. You know what I'm saying? And he came on the panel. Uh, this is the first time I met him, but it was over there too. And he, Red, you was you never know, on the neutral zone, Raj. You never went to the neutral zone. No. He was probably. In the I was beefing with him. him. They ain't like me. What are you talking you was, about? Oh, okay. You went to the neutral zone before, right? Uh, no so... Yeah, yeah. Fuck, Back man. when uh, Omen and uh, Ren, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the neutral zone. Yeah, no the neutral zone. But before it was, eight, uh, before, um, what you call was on there with her? You know, it was just Taz, her, and and, and uh, Nyla. Right? Bef that's before even, uh, what's his name? Y'all call him old, old man. Before he even got over there. Because remember, that's when the manosphere split up. They split up because of a uh, Renaissance woman's channel and things. Remember, they was people. The men was mad that uh, they wanted Taz to be a part of the manosphere. The the black men was trying to make money because somebody gave them, uh, told them how much black manosphere could possibly be worth. I remember all of that. And Kevin was here around that time, but he wasn't a major player. You're right. Okay, but yeah, just because I, I he wasn't a saying. major player like he ended up doesn't mean I wasn't roasting his ass. Yeah, and I, I get you. I get you. <laughs> see, I totally yeah, understand. Now. And take yeah, it. I, I was whole. I didn't get that. Whole okay. thing for Reg and everybody. Like, how the fuck y'all let this nigga rise to the top and all y'all still on the chilling circuit? Who's that that? Was, exactly. that was what I used to get cursed out and kicked off the panel because that was my whole thing. Like, mm -hmm. how y'all let the fruit rise to the top? 
Yeah. Right? <laughs> and then all y'all still stuck in the chitlin circle. Oh, you mean that's you mean, right? He stole Kenneth from Samuel? everybody. Yes. Remember, I used yeah. to say that all the time. Like y'all let this nigga. And so <laughs> once he did it, now everybody doing it to y'all. Kwame Brown done did it to y'all. Um, yeah. Mark Lamont Hill done did it to y'all. It's the Everybody women. It was, it was curly things well, and did it to y'all. You gotta understand that goes like, all the way back from the time. No, 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 that goes back from the women that came on here. Women like like what? like Cincy G and women like um, Paris Lamont. Lamont. No, Reg, those are they, two they, different things. Yeah, but bro. still, the women came in here for Yeah, that's two different things, Reg. That's two different things. That's too deep. You're mixing apples and oranges right now, bro. That's too deep. You're trying to blame the women for y'all. You're speaking in helmet right now, nigga. That's too deep. You're trying to say that men has them. No, no. no, What I'm saying is Kevin Samuels took y'all talking points, took y'all trajectory. Okay, well, who fault was that then? It wasn't us because we wasn't. It it wasn't. It was Obsidian did that shit. We were that shit out. Also, Prerogative. Oh, O'Shea for the. That's them. You got the. Right, like, but they didn't know he was the wolf, um, um, so you know what I'm saying? I don't think yeah. they know he was the I don't think they know he was coming to take their cookies. They didn't. I mean, he took them word for word, right? When he when he started calling the women Big Shirley, he got that from Obsidian. Um, a lot of the things, remember Kevin was meek. He would come up and try to be professional and and want to tell me about marriage and then tried to tell me no about one would marry me and that's when uh you know i went off on him and i then i started roasting him even before he got big i was on his ass way before he was big okay uh it was either i was either talking about what her name was sasa ray or i was talking about kevin but they were uh they were abused that were roasting him as well i mean People didn't like his whole perfume reviews and all this other weird shit he was doing. You know, not everyone supported him back then. Yeah, they didn't. And but then when he got bigger, and I like, it came out that he was a cheerleader. He he got caught in a bed with a man. He got a, the man oh, yeah. over there in his bed, the and they and they let all that shit fly. Okay, and then they was willing to lie when he passed away. They were lying. That nigga got so mad at me and Reg for calling. Call, they made me. They made me and Reg <laughs> Beavis and Butthead. They were so mad. <laughs> <laughs> hey Reg, because I was the only person that. who said that. I was the only person who was willing to say it on the panel, and I said it on your panel. And then here come with him and Obsidian talking about they don't know who they like. Beavis and Butthead is is funny. Like no nigga, you fruity. <laughs> You didn't even say he was pretty bad. You just said, head. man, something something is up, man. But I was literally like, come on, man. Now, now we grew up all our lives, and when we heard men speak like that, we knew that who they were. So now, with fast forward to 2020 something or 2018, 19, now the dude talk like that, and he not gay. He just sound feminine. He's just right. a man. Yeah, it was a lot of people switched up and like was just basically swinging from that dude nuts. Uh, once, yeah, he, sure. once his channel grew up, yeah, uh, started, blew yeah, up. Yeah, that, that was the Kevin Defense Force. That's when that yes. force started. Yeah, they, they would come over there by me. But That's they ran away. The over with the Kevin. Uh, Kevin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was That's Hill, yeah. yeah, dudes, dudes Brian, going against their principles to big game all of them <laughs> to get around. Yeah, was it Brian? Big game. Mm -hmm. That's that, that's why uh, the the Viper Pit ended up splitting up essentially because of Kevin Samuels. Uh-oh, wait. <laughs> Why is that, Bob? Uh, yeah, because, uh, you know, I was over there doing what I do, what I always did, cracking jokes on him and, and pulling up information. Anything he would say, I could, I would disprove it. Because I ended up finding him on LinkedIn with his real information. I knew that he worked at Yellow Pages. That's the only corporation he ever worked at. I, I told you, you, you worked at Yellow Pages. What are you talking about? I, I, so I did say she did it by doxing, right? I did. Too. What you <laughs> talking about? What do you, you mean I doxed him? Doxing would mean that I put out his address and told people where he at. What you told me? You just said that he worked at Yellow Pages. I don't mean, I don't mean technically. I don't what mean it's a song. Wait a minute. You said he worked at Yellow Pages. How you find out? So if you that, go to the man's you? LinkedIn page, that's kind of a soft doxing, right? Like you're you're doing research, op opposition research, right? To use it because Kevin Sims was also a uh, PPP loan for a lot of people. Like he was a come up. Like if you put his name and your tagline, you, you know, you got views, right? So he was also a stimulus package. Paul, pause, right? No Diddy. You know what I'm saying? So it it, it 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 was it was beneficial for people to go and look up his information and try to get things on him to bring him down, right? Because 
Like, I mean, he was, even though he was a man, he was still a representation of a caddy woman that you dealt with at DMV, right? Who was like, well, you didn't bring the right paperwork, so who do you think, you know what I mean? That's what people say he valid, right? Because what he would do would just talk about the obvious. Yes, everything you're saying is obvious, but dating is complex. People are complex. So it's not going to simply play out how you're saying it, right? Like, of, of course, what you're saying is valid, right? Because people are people. Right. And and there's certain ways and traditions where you get the optimal outcome if you do certain things a certain way. Right. But his cattiness and his people wanted to bring him down to pay because who wants to deal with the reality of the situation? Who wants to deal with with the truth? Right. And they're not making those 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 correct moves in life. And they're ending up with two, three baby daddies and all that shit. So people wanted to bring him down a notch because he was putting a mirror to their face, whether you agree with it or not. You know, what I'm saying I, I understand that. But. At the same time, it was it was still a ruse and it was still a hustle. Yeah, that's no, true. he was he was the one who was the hustle. Like I said, even before he got big, I was on him, and he was lying. So you're know, telling people he was a chemical engineer, and and then downing other men for the way. See, see, y'all forget Kevin was the reason why y'all really didn't support him. Isn't because the way he was dressed. It's because he was talking about y'all ass. So don't act like he wasn't. He was. Down in men first. He was shitting on y'all. Told y'all y'all look like bones. And that you had to fake it till you make it. You need to change your dress. So don't try to rewrite history up here with me. Because I was here. Yeah, he wasn't getting views on roasting the men. So he went to the, towards the women and the band. That's right. Up. That's right. The women was supporting him at one time when he was going in on the men. But then when he realized, when he made that one video, that woman, that's why that woman called into his show. He had a woman's show every week and women was over there so even though he didn't get to a million followers he had a lot of women over there and that's when that woman called in for advice from him Man, you got a lot of niggas in your chat who with the soft life like chris m all them niggas they just really with the soft life hey i you see a quick question saying a lot of y'all y'all sipped out for kevin basically they love kevin if kevin would have told them to bend over they would have been their asses over Hey, 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 see, hey, see, quick question, bro. Are they saying that in real life, uh, like outside of the internet? That no, I hope not, bro. I haven't. No, I'm talking I, about I, I live no with, Diddy. I live. Oh hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh, okay, all right. Because <laughs> I heard <laughs> you saying Shannon Sharp was, was talking like, about something the other day. That nigga was like, no Diddy. Like, <laughs> it sounds. <laughs> I like no Diddy better than pause and all Yo. that. No homo. That that no Diddy <laughs> is, is a is a great <laughs> evolution of that shit. Like. I could go with the no diddy. I'm not gonna be running around talking about no homo all day. Like that. <laughs> I mean, or pause or the no diddy is real. I, I like that. Okay. No right. kidding, <laughs> no, okay. Okay. That's where it is. Okay. Yeah, because I only heard it on uh I don't know, like people like that be talking about the whole situation they'll say it. They'll say it like DJ academics and shit. I was just wondering if they said it. Hey, the, the like if you talking to the Philly, homies outside or something. The nigga you know. from Philly went and, and trademarked it. So he gonna be a millionaire off oh, that man. shit. <laughs> the I, rapper nigga from Philly trademarked that shit. Oh, he went and trademarked it? What? Cause some, I've seen people already putting that shit on t-shirts. And put it in, and showed the application, showed the certificate, and see, he wow. did it the right way because anybody who tried to use it after the date of that fucking timestamp on there, they're fucked. Man, that's even not true. Didn't, even if he didn't get the official trademark, when he gets it, it's retroactive to that day. Yeah, but he won't get it. Yeah, he, he got really, it. He's, he's he gonna know get he, it. No, he just got an application. Even, That's a lot of things you, you cannot it, trademark. It, so he's not gonna be able to stop people from using no diddy. You don't know that, Bomb. You only well, said based on no. You don't know what their final decision is gonna be on him saying no Diddy. Who can yeah. say that? They probably they won't do it because that's that guy name. Do it. It's because it's, it's too close to his. Yeah, but they, you know know what it, it means. know they know what it listen, means. Listen, they know what it Reg means. and Bomb. Listen, so, Reg and Bomb. It's a good it's chance no that he might not of do it. it. It's just not Diddy. It's no Diddy. Yes, that's already out there. People no, got on the shirt. It says no. So all they got to do is like the people got on shirts already. It says no Diddy, no doubt. Um, That's what people. No hey, hey, see, let me let me explain how it worked though. That yeah, see, but I agree with Bomb and what Reg is saying. Uh, AC, they have to. You have to. Whenever you put in one of those applications, you have to prove that you are the first person to use this name in whatever. Um, it because it's a whole bunch of different areas you can um, request. 
to get that trademark under. Uh, it, it depends on like if you're selling something, if you're selling books, if you're selling clothing, you have to prove that you were the first one to mo to put that that's out there. It's similar to that's, it's sim that's not no, true and the only reason I know, listen, the only reason out. I know, listen, 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 keeping dog, techie listen. is trademark. Listen, like, trade, dog, I went listen, through the full process listen, of listen, it. Listen, listen, listen. If that mm -hmm. was the case, then companies would never be able to name themselves Acme. But the the supermarket Acme has the name trademark. But you also have Acme Bar and Grill or Acme this or Acme and that's Bar what I'm saying. It's different areas. No, no, listen, AC. That's what I'm saying. It's different areas where you. You can trademark right. that name. He puts so it if under somebody trademarks it, of name, you know what I'm saying? You can't trademark like, something in a general sense. You can trademark it based on whatever your organization yes, is based is around. Doing yes. So, so that's he, why you can have a restaurant and then you can also have a right. That's a the point that I'm company. trying to make to you. So they can't deny him if he just put it under I'm using it as causal, such and oh, such. Yeah, such yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. That's yeah. what I'm if saying. He's doing it under one specific thing. Right. Yeah, if he yeah. does it under causal, such and such, such and such, once he sends that in and it's it's stamped to say we received it, like it's just like this, right? This is mm -hmm. what people do for like copyrights, right? If you can't, if you send something in the copyright, right, and you gotta wait, you can mail it to yourself. Right, you can yeah. mail it to yourself, get it back, and when you get that post date and say and have it certified by um by what's the name, the notary public, right? And you have him stamp it, right? You you mm -hmm. fill it out, you say, okay, on this date I did this, I'm copywriting this, and you stamp it, and you mail it to yourself, and then somebody come out and do it. You can take that envelope that got that letter in it, that's certified by that notary public. And long as that date on there from the mail from the post office is before the time that that person started doing the same thing you was doing, they lose the mm -hmm. copyright. And they lose the copyright because you okay, can. But you're talking about different things, trademark and copyright, copyright and trademark right? are similar in the sense of similar. your intellectual property. Yes, but if so, remember what what we what I was disagreeing with when you said that once he get that trademark, it gonna stop other people from using it. And remember. You you prove that that's not right. They can said. use it. I'm talking about making money off of it. They could say yeah, it. Yeah, they can make they money want. off. I'm talking about making money off of. It. Yes, they're gonna be able to make money off. No, he's gonna get whatever money they make. He'll be able to take them to court and sue for. How? It. If I because if I put no trademark. did it because no, it's his trademark. Because you in they have one to pay him the area. Only they in have one to particular pay. Area. They no, have that's to not pay true. him to use it. No, they do not. Do oh, oh, they got look. Okay, yeah, if you okay well, it, that's not true. It depends on it depends on what you're selling, bro, or what you actually doing. Because if it if it's like if if bomb come out with a t-shirt that say no diddy and he don't have that trademark under someone selling merchandise or clothing uh under their trademark for no diddy, then she can make all the money she wants under that. Because I've already made shirts area. that said no diddy. Uh, okay. Uh two weeks ago, somebody requested for it to say no diddy. I made the t-shirt I sold it to. Oh, you're not gonna get so in trouble because if you make a shirt like that, you're not gonna there's no way you're gonna get it. But if you do some mass production shit, then that's different. Even mass production. You know, you're not gonna get in trouble if you make a couple shirts for I'm, somebody or something like that. Because I remember doing a trademark and I went through and it asked you to to uh specify the category that you want to trademark this name in like mine is under education uh video they even have a new section it's like for um like training and stuff like that or whatever something something to that effect so somebody can actually go put in another trademark for keep a techie under under i don't know they selling something or whatever some food shit. i, I don't know, know what you're talking about different type a of restaurant trademarks. or something type of trademarks. Keep it techie. That's what you're and talking they about. can trademark keep it techie under that other restaurant because it's under a different category yeah. i don't control all the categories because exactly. i trademarked it just can't nobody come in behind me and create an educational trademark uh with that same name that's that's my understanding of it. That's exactly right. Based on reading yeah. the, the laws and it's different categories it's now, different categories yeah. now. Yeah, it's like the Black Matter sphere. They got it under 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 a publication. They have that under so the publication. Got, that's why they got a they got a man in the chat who want to know when my grown sons are going to move out my house. Uh, I want to know those man like you right. Want to know when he gonna move out his house? Grown people who just wake up to just 
badger other adults that they don't even know. That's like the this shit over here is like the weirdest shit I've ever seen nah, in my life. I was just trying to I was just trying to have not a you, not you, we're not talking about you. We're not, oh, not oh, you, my bro. Bad. We're not talking about you. We're talking about the chat. Oh, yeah. I wasn't looking at the chat. My bad. Yeah, we're not talking about you, bro. Like we, oh, we, no, we get what you're like saying. You, we get we def we definitely get what you're saying. We're just but talking I, about the people who hear a conversation and just because they don't like the people that's having a conversation, they just say any ignorant shit known to man. And then when you like, well, yo, let's meet up, let's do this and that. Oh, you're threatening, you're a criminal, blah blah blah. But you're talking shit to me. I don't even fucking know you. I haven't said I don't even know who Chris M is. And every time he come in here, he's like, Whoa, did he say he went to NYU yet? Well, are, are you mad that you didn't? go to NYU like I haven't said that shit I don't even say that shit like that like I don't even get where it's at I, I just I, where do these people come from is the question I always ask and then we get yeah. niggas like Red you be like man you gotta stop threatening they see like but we y'all like okay y'all cool with that but maybe other people aren't exactly um you know that's what happened to some of these people will never get on a panel but they do be making their little comments in the chat right and those of us get on the panel we mention it and then it look like we the bad guys Every, this is what I said about Gabe, even though I did say, you know, he's not having a real conversation. Some of these men, if no matter what a woman says, right, because we can have a disagreement. Like right now, we three was disagreeing about the trademark. That's just a disagreement and nobody cussed each other out. We just simply disagreed. But what happens with women and men in these spaces, the men, no matter what I say, so they'll take one thing I said, they add to it. Are oh, you saying this? Are oh, you saying that? They kept doing that with the Kevin Samuels thing. Tried to insinuate that I'm lying. Because I never said that he was real big when this happened. I never said that. I, but he was, uh, he had his channel, and he had a lot of people over there. Nowhere near a million people like he had when he got big. But everybody knew I was on Kevin's head. The people, it's just that some of y'all didn't want to admit it. Like Raj already knew. They were making videos about me being on talking about Kevin every day. Why is Bomb Carry always talking about Kevin Jerry's every day? Bomb, I don't know if you was monetized or not, but if you was monetized when you was doing that shit. Lord, have mercy you would have made a killer because you was using that nigga name. Hint you, Platinum, like that's how Platinum got paid. Just anytime somebody had a fucking controversy, Platinum would fucking hashtag them to death. He mastered that shit. Mastered yeah, it. He did it after he got big. And see, when he got big, I started calling him Kevin Scamuels. Remember, and I don't put people's name in, in my titles usually. Um, and, and so yeah, but I was uh, dragging the hell out. But you're right though. That would that's a great move, you know. You you at these people. That's how people are making money. But I've never been monetized because uh, you know, YouTube. Yeah, I'm I'm we wild out over there. <laughs> like I said, so somebody trying to accuse me of doxing somebody. Apparently, they don't know what doxing is. But yes, um. Kevin Samuels had on a jacket where he was claiming he was with a uh, fraternity. And I was like, yeah, Well, that was already proven that he was from he was from fraternity fraternity. Yeah, but he wasn't in a fraternity though. He was. He he got pledged. He pledged. Kevin Samuels was not in a fraternity. He pledged. No. What the caller said that Alaron Curry knew that. He yeah, was, I know the same people who lied uh, who lied about So everything. so he's lying. So you said Alaron yes. Curry lying on Yes. Come on, he was he was pledged. Look, there's no doubt that he like you did he pledge? He, he pledged. Pledging and crossing listen. over. Is he pledged, crossed over. Children. You can cross over. You don't have to graduate from college to play. No, 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 no. You I'm have to be he, in college longer than a let's, semester. Let's, let's, okay, he no, was. Listen, no, did he, he pledge and cross over, or he just apparently he was. Okay. No, he didn't. Did he did he pledge and cross over? Yes. Pledge. Yeah, he pledged and cross over. No, he's wrong. I don't know what else you're talking about. Okay, well, let me let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. I'm talking to the person who went to college, you know, like myself. You don't so, know what you're talking about on this one. Well, I'm about I'm to ask a question. You don't know this what you're talking about. This is the thing. Kevin Samuels blank. didn't even finish one semester. It doesn't matter. You you can yes, go to college and don't finish at all. And still, if they I'm you get you play for a attorney, you can play for a attorney, and you can be part of it. You can drop no, out. You, listen, you can drop I, out. You don't have to stay in no, college in order I to play. Stay. I didn't. Listen, I didn't say nothing about graduate. I'm talking about. Do you know what a semester is? Do you understand? No, that? no, no. I don't because I never. I went okay. to college. I went to college. I don't. I, I don't. I still don't know what a semester okay, is. Okay, so I still okay, don't know what well, a semester is. 
he didn't finish a semester, he and now finish. you're saying that he pledged and crossed over. Yes. Who up here he went, went to college? Went, and he went. He went. He went to college. I don't know if he went to two semesters, whatever. Yeah, Bob. He was. He was a capper. It says it right. No. Here. That's what I'm saying. They said, listen, oh, listen, Bob. He, he, he lying. Listen, you don't know what you're talking about. I told listen, you. Listen, listen, Bob. Today we, we remember the life of Brother Kevin Shane with Spring 88 and this shit to the Kappa, to the Zeta Mega chapter of Kappa Phi Psi Fraternity Incorporated. Yeah. Brother, oh, joined the chapter Invisible. Oh, no, he did. Well, yeah, he didn't get it. He didn't get it when he first joined, but they gave him what you would call like a, a um, honorary honorary and only and after he got big only after he got big yes. he okay. was lying he and wasn't. saying that he yeah, did he that wasn't. so i'm not lying and i know what i'm nah, talking he wasn't about. he wasn't they gave him honorary he was a that's why i asked you reg he crossed he joined but he didn't cross over right he was initiate initiate means that he initiated in 88 and then he became he joined as a, a chapter invisible may 5th 2022 yeah, and, and you go 22. He just got that in 22 honorary. And so, but Kevin put on a jacket and I told people that shit was fake. And I don't know why you question me. See, I'm a woman with a million plus men who follow her. And if I want to know a million men follow you on Instagram, uh, um, nigga. <laughs> nigga, you, you first. Nigga, have you ever been to her Instagram page, lie. nigga? What the what hell you I'm on it. I don't know if it's a million. I ain't, let me oh, let me not be lying. I don't know. Okay. Oh, it's, yes. a, it's a it's a million point seven followers. That's what I have. Okay, and I and y'all some of y'all been knowing this because I've been on the internet for over thirty years. But so let's say I only have one hundred. Let's say I only have ten thousand followers. But you could go to my Instagram and see at least fifteen, right? Him, um. So what I'm about. saying is, it wasn't hard for me to get information on Kevin. Jeez. Jeez. Yeah, so, Reg, just a, you call just, me a liar. God damn. And Reg, this is. Still, I just wanted to. But they said it. Yeah. They still said Reg. it. You said he didn't. He still didn't. He what, didn't. What, 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 Do you know what honorary mean? That means once he got big, he was already okay. lying and saying that he yeah, had she, it, and then they gave it to him. They said, okay. She, she right though, Reg. Like you can, you can actually even. Like later on, you can you can pay to get into these for, uh, oh. fraternities and sororities at the um they they have to accept you and all that stuff. You so why were Alan? Well, okay, why were Alan Curry, Alan Curry saying that he was a fellow new? Because he was lying too. So he was lying I, for things him. I can tell you so about he was that lying man. From, so all this was a lie. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh this was a obsidian lie. was lying. You know, obsidian lied for him. Oh, Some okay. of these men paid Kevin's rent. I remember when they paid his rent, his cable bill in the back chats. I was in a back chats. You was in a who back chat? I was in the back chats with Kevin Samuels, Obsidian. It was a whole lot of it. Okay. You remember how the back chats used to be? When if you was on a panel, remember that um 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 what's your name? Uh, you got a couple of names. Um but anyway, remember how the back chest used to be where if you was ever on the panel, even after it closed out, the back chat was still there. And we would be talking to each other. It was really a back chat and it would go on for months and months sometimes. And I would be sitting there not saying nothing, just listening to the men, you know, talk to each other. And yeah, and I ain't got I ain't got the lie about this, but you can ask Top City and he might share it or even Angry Man. They helped him pay his bills a few times. Well, yeah, I don't I don't I don't know about that. I just wanted to explain Reg. Hey Reg, this is what the semester is, just so you know, bro. It's just like in high school, the first, the beginning of school to winter break. That's one semester. And then after that is the second semester. Just so you know, <laughs> I heard you ask that question earlier. Say, I I don't know what the fucking semester is. <laughs> I'm just explaining it to you so you know, bro. And I say that he didn't even go to school at all because we can't find no records. But remember, the he the week before he went on that uh, interview, he was telling somebody, "Yeah, I'm a, a chemical engineer." He went over there with no jumper and told his lies and his stories that made no sense. And then the very next week, he went over over there with that white boy, what his name is, and 
everything I had been telling people. Oh my God. You don't no know what you're talking you about, Bob. He came back. I was just about to summon your ass. <laughs> okay. So you he don't know what you're talking said, about. I didn't finish because he knew that white boy had checked in on. I know where the white boy got most no. of the information in, in order to. Anyway. Where the white boy get his information from? Let's go back uh, to the fraternity anyway. thing. Let's go back to the fraternity thing. Do um, you know? So, Cap Alpha Psi is the Divine Nine organization. Dude, well, I don't know why you're telling me all that. He got it in 22. Are you telling okay. me he just graduated in 2022? Where did the 88 come from? Help me That's there. When he was initiated. That's when he was initiated. He was initiated, right? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what? What what an initiate of Cap Alpha Psi is called, Bon. What Go is ahead, it? Tell us. But they so gave you, him. But he. You, but listen, it says it right here on the on, <laughs> on their on their Twitter page on their Instagram page right. that he like he wasn't he wasn't fully Cap Psi, but then they made him part of the Visible chapter on May fifth, two thousand twenty two. So so they I used to be honorary. so 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 here. Let me. It, it's not honorary. Let me break it down completely. Cause I used to be online for Kappa Alpha Psi, right? I, I didn't. It was it was, a, it was affecting my my grades. There are two different types of classifications of uh, Cap Alpha Psi member. There is a noop, and there's also an official Kappa. You're a noop or you're a Kappa. A noop is somebody who went through the process, who by the organization is not recognized because they haven't been paying their bills. They're not officially they're associated dudes. with they don't pay their dues and shit. Right? They're they're the dues and stuff, but they're considered a part of the organization. Mm -hmm. If Kevin Samuels has a, 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 a jacket or a letterman or something or any type of paraphernalia that has his year of crossing and others have confirmed it like ARC, yes. who was also a noob. Yep. Uh, it, it, that that means that he was a part of the organization since his initiation. Yeah, Kappa let me ask, means- let me ask you, That's you a lie. Yeah. He was not a lie because he always truth. said that he was a noob. Every <laughs> hold on, hold on, since he okay. always, always called him, that's my brother. Hey, my check noob. it out. So would they okay. always say no, So would they put the year that would they put the year that that he crossed with because they do have noop under here so they do have noop noop yes yeah. Yeah, they do have they have rest in peace noop zq zq4l long live zq because i guess his name was squill or some shit squills is something like name. that yeah squills he got that back in 88 yes yeah. yeah squills is what his name was so he was spring 88 Initiate of the Zeta Omega chapter of Kappa Phi Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. And then it says, right. Bo Samuels joined the chapter Invisible May 5th, 2022. May he rest peace eternally till we meet again, Golden Shores. Oh, that yeah, means he joined that. an official Kappa chapter in right. that 2022. Right. That does not mean right. that he was not a part of the organization. He was right. recognized. No, I, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying as yeah. far as new. But I'm but saying that's I'm different saying, than what right, Bomb is saying. Being a Mason, no, right, you as, are me as me being a Mason, uh, right? I'm not. Like you can initiate uh -huh. the process, like you said. You can initiate the process, and then if you don't right. catch up with the dudes, you still have that standing where you, you still there. The you still in it. Yes, uh, absolutely. So, so he was there ever since '88. From there, you don't got so bombs. All over again. You gotta so bombs either. saying stuff that was fake. That no, he wasn't a lying. part of it. That he yes. just got in in 2022. Yes. Those are no. all incorrect things. In. No, he not was a part of the me. organization you're since '88. He just didn't me. cross you're... over. He just didn't cross over. That's what it is. No, he so, no, no. But I'm saying noobs so, cross no. over. Yeah, they, they cross. That's what I was trying to say before. They all um, cross over. They got to cross no. over. No, 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 no. I don't think he crossed. I'm not saying that you're lying. He did. He did. Yeah, we all got to cross over. He was a scroller, and he was a y'all like. Y'all, even when he's dead, y'all suck his dick. But listen. Ain't nobody doing that. What are you talking about, man? Listen. Because you won't listen. Because I'm not saying that the information that you're giving, uh, Gabe, is incorrect. Yeah, I'm saying that saying. you're not. No. If you exactly listen, what, what I'm what saying, saying is saying. that Kevin was lying. I'm also saying that ARC was lying. No, I am saying that see. he see. gave a year. He he. Why don't y'all go look at the motherfucking jacket, you dumbass nigga? Talk about that. Now Kevin What's said that? that he did something in a year, and they they was like, okay, they believed him, just like you believed. Him. Right? Uh, you, AC they, just yeah. read from the Cap Alpha side their official Twitter page that called him a noob and recognized him as a noob. So uh -huh. ARC was lying, Kevin was yes. lying, and now yes. this chapter is lying as yes. well about I'm his official they, status as yes. a noob. Yes. Somebody that so yes, yes. listen. So you're yes. so, so so you're a Kevin Samuel yes. conspiracy theorist there well, at best. I, I, so okay. like because you well, got you three different one, sources one, confirming about confirming him being and a part of the organization, and but you still and saying and that they lying. Real quick, Bob, and it's actually the Oklahoma chapter. So that's even deeper. 
Cause that's where he's from, right? Ain't he from Oklahoma? Yes. But I'm, it, it's okay for you to be wrong. Like, when you say, like, it don't have to be an argument. You could be wrong on this. It's fine. Listen, but I'm not ain't, wrong. Ain't, 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 like I, I wasn't Kansas. wrong on him yes. never getting a from degree. Oklahoma. Just like I wasn't wrong on him never owning. But everybody knew degree. about the degree thing. That came See, out. So she moved to the degree it, thing. Everybody knew about, about this. Other you saying you was the first one to tell everybody. You wasn't the first one to tell everybody. You were not. But you were lying and you can't prove it. You can't prove it. Yes, you I call when I call, the video I, I, when I video call her out on the Bernard Riley panel, the the video when we pulled up the LinkedIn and everything. Oh, well, well, put it up there. Put, put, the, put the video up there. Put the video up there when you're the first one to say that he didn't have no degree. I'm not talking about Kemp because you made videos on your own channel saying that all I do is talk about Kemp. And y'all was saying Okay, where's that video at? Where's that video at? What? Okay, oh, so this is what it is. You saying that all I talk about is Kevin? Yeah, yeah, where's that video at? Bomb, bomb, check it out. This is what happened. He initiated in 88, right? Mm -hmm. And he did because he started in 88, right? And he didn't keep his dues up. But in 2022, they let him cross over and he became mm -hmm. part of it. Yeah, but that's you have to understand. No, I ain't got that's to understand true. nothing. I'm saying, no. but that's uh, that's what happened. Look, I'm, no, I'm that's a Mason, not right? What listen, happened. listen, listen. I'm a Mason, right? I'm Jesus a Mason. Christ. And me and Aries was on here and, and, and Matt was on here, right? Matt Bone, right? And Matt yeah. Bone was trying to say that he was a Mason. Yeah, so that's when he right. did that, Listen, let me finish, please. When he did that, I started asking him questions. I started trying to... So he finally was like, no, I didn't finish. Mm -hmm. Right? So when Kevin Right, because he was giving partial he, information. To yeah. a certain uh, part, I, I he didn't one. finish. And then in May 20... In May 5th of 2022, they took him over. And then... Uh, what I'm saying for I, the wait, minute, organization, wait a minute, wait See, the, the thing noops, is, y'all not talking noop, to a dummy like y'all used to talking to. Well, no, I think they called him noop after, well, so noop, after you finished the process. After you finished the process, you were noop. You you official across the whole organization. Remember what you said? Remember what you said? Because you went from Mac Bone, and then you quickly switched to... Kevin. So you said that Macbone said something. But I'm saying that Kappa, if, you, you, if, if you pay your money, you, you can pay your money and still be called a Kappa. See these niggas, this is but if you, all right, all right, we like, so I want to talk to the, 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 the people. Sure. I know Bomb. Better. we got you, Bomb. We, we got you. We trying to like trying to iron this out here. Listen. This is so what I'm thing. saying to you is, right. though, let me ask you a question. You is, they said that he joined the chapter May two, May fifth, two thousand. Yes, because that's what that means. He joined finished the, chapter, the whole that process. Means that he crossed over. That means that he's a part of that chapter. Like okay. if you, like if I join a lodge, oh, right, yeah, and I go through the process in the beginning, yeah. and then and I, finished, just keep I started in, say, I, I started in two thousand and one, yeah. and then I, I finally got it in two thousand ten. Yeah, right. That's when yeah, I right. officially joined that chapter. Exactly. Yeah. I think it may be different like for Kappa Alpha Psi because if you pay your money, just like you can pay your money and not go through any process. Those are the uh -huh. people that's called paper. Those are yeah. people who can be considered Kappa Alpha Psi, uh -huh. right? Based on, but based, people, on finance, based on paying. Based on finances. Hey, man, but if you go through the whole entire process, Bong, chill. We just trying to we just trying to top it up about that. Your ass is so easily. Go ahead, Bong. You Go refuse ahead, to fucking get it out. listen because, but it's I understand where y'all don't like that a woman. Okay, but, but, but how, how you know you went to college? You being a woman, we just trying to talk about the details of what we have experience. But, but, but did you go to college? You know about this and stuff. I asked a question. Ball so if we're right, gonna so listen to Kevin, his, if we gonna listen to Kevin, his motherfucking self. See, y'all are fucking. No, better. Kevin. ARC, the Twitter profile no, 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 no. for no, no, there's multiple explain. sources of evidence. It's all that against what Bob is saying. The people that were the capital said too I'm the same thing. I'm asking you this, right? What are you You're asking? About, uh, Kevin said that he had a degree, and I remember when they were saying, "Yeah, he has mm -hmm. a, this degree that we know he ain't got now." Right? Came out later, way later, right? But anyway. Go and listen to the fucking interview. He, I, about his, his degree? Mouth. Or are you talking about Kappa? Ta listen, we, we talk about yes, the same thing. The it's same not the video. same thing. You know what I'm about to explain? Listen, go and listen to it. When he no. says, they they said, well, don't you have a degree? Well, nah. Well, uh, did you go to college? Well, yeah. I, I was there, but I, I had to quit after a couple of weeks. I think it was a couple of months. Right? So no, it wasn't a no couple of your, months. He got yes. cancer like after his third year. What you mean? No, <laughs> go and listen to him. 
You dumb oh, little motherfucker. So you pissing so, me so off. So what are you saying? What are you saying? You that he only went to school for a He only went to college for three weeks. He, 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 so he washed out in three weeks. That's what you're telling me. You mean that Kevin Samuels washed out of college This is in three weeks. This is she just off her rocker. That's what you're trying to say. Don't y'all see? Go and look at the interview with him. What's that white guy name? Red, she off her rocker, man. The one who set up Tommy Sotomayor. Go and listen to Kevin's on when he had to tell the truth. He on said, Vlad, speak to my Vlad. Vlad, go and listen to the Vlad, Kevin Samuels. When Kevin says he didn't even do a semester because he got cancer and had to quit, not he didn't even do no. a semester. Yes, that he is did what more he than did. a semester. He no, did a he couple did. years. Am I lying? Who you? Oh, we can play. We can go to that video and see what he said. Yes. And go this, just put in. I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought you said said that he, I was in college and I had to drop out because of cancer. He didn't he say said, how many, how, yeah, how many no, long he was he in there. He says the first semester. Mm. I, 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 don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well, if I, I give I you the know. link, are you gonna play it so we all can hear it? Cause I grab it. All you gotta do is put Vlad Kevin Samuels and talk about the college. You put college, and it's a short little clip. And he said, what short little he clip? Said, well, well, did you graduate? He link. says, no, uh, the first semester I ended up with cancer and I quit. Now show me where he was able to pledge, cross over. He didn't even do, he didn't even do uh, two months at the, at the school. Who said that? Y'all some dumb ass nigga. Who Kevin was keeping up his lies and there were people helping him. But you could hear it out of his own goddamn mouth. And yes, I did provide information uh, to Vlad. Because they reached out. They want to know how you know this, where you got this from, where you got this. And all they got to do is send them a little information. Let them do their own research from research. And if it look legit, if it's right, then You just okay. be talking, man. I know. You mad, baby. You mad. Don't be mad. You, you want to talk to Vlad, at. too? You want me to hit up Vlad and have him talk to you? Okay, which one is no. it? I don't see it. Okay, well, I'll grab it for you. Let's Hold on, Reg. I'm listening to it. Hold on. I'll report back to y'all in a minute. I'm listening to it now. So, so you went to college, Bob? You we said you went to college, right? Yes, I, I went to a couple colleges. Yes, yes, yes. Did you get Vlad a degree? TV. Uh, yes. I did get a degree. And what? And and we had this conversation before. You remember what it was? Go and tell the people. I don't know. Computers. computers. Don't remember. You forgot computers. computers. Yes, remember you said you went to school for computers too. Remember that? The difference is I got a degree, right? I got a degree. Then oh, I, oh, oh, I so 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 the difference between me and you, I you got a degree. Yeah, I didn't get a certificate, but then I did get some. I got I I have my MCSC. I got certifications. Yes, but there is a difference between, you know, when you said you didn't go right. and finish, and I did go. So, Bomb, you said how well, long, you, was, wait, 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 how long you said he was semester. in college? Yes. He said he was 21 when he dropped out. Yeah, he went in when he was 18, so it was three years. That's three so years. So what are you yeah. talking about? He, he went to college right after old high dementia patient. So, 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 so you just lied then, Bomb? No, I didn't he said lie. He was, you did, because they just said, when do you go to college, Bomb? When do you go to college, okay. bomb? At eighteen, bomb. So now we got liars up here. So he was twenty-one when he dropped right out. Video. Let's just talk oh, about it. Let's just talk about it. He was twenty-one. Just listen to it. Come on, man. How? How, how, how can he be lying? They no, play the video. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, well, let him finish listening to it. Let me play the video. Don't, Where's the video at? Well, tell me the video. They're calling me a fucking liar when either they're lying or they didn't finish listening to that video. What do you mean finish listening? If they listen to the part where he was 18 so, no, and he, then he said he had to drop out when he was 21, uh, that's, that's three years. Okay. And okay. that was enough time for him to pledge well, no, in, in, in the goddamn so fraternity. <laughs> Y'all, y'all love and, Kevin and that's Samuels, it. baby. I know. Ain't nobody love no Kevin Samuels. What are you talking about? Whereas the video literally says Kevin Kevin Samuels on dropping out of college after getting cancer at twenty one. Uh, that's literally the title of the yes, video. Yes, I go listen to They're what nine. Kevin says. I listened to it. I listened okay. to it. He uh, did. He dropped out at twenty one. He did not okay. say he d only did a couple of semesters in college. He didn't say a couple of semesters. He said us oh, less than a semester. He did not say that. Okay. 
You liar. Well, stop lying. Okay, just well, just get I'm, to the truth. So I'm glad. Just stop lying. So I listen to it. It's a how four minute money, video. How much money we going to put on it? How much? How I'm much? not betting with people who don't you have mean? money. I don't bet money liar. with people who don't have money. Stop okay, it. Well, no, so okay, now, okay, y'all, it's on. because I don't have no money. Hold on. I don't bet with people who don't have money. No, I don't. I see. I trust Black Brown. I know he gonna hear whatever he hear. He gonna come back. But the idea that he tried to come back and make it seem like I was fucking lying before listening to it. That that's why I call y'all niggas. Uh, y'all y'all just not reliable. Y'all not trustworthy. Y'all are fucking uh snakes. All right, here we go. Because it comes out of his own fucking mouth. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's go listen to this right now. Okay. Which so, one are you listening to? You graduated high school. Two? I guess. Uh, uh, hold on. Hi. High? Yes. I'm asking. Okay. High school. And then you go to the University of Oklahoma, mm -hmm. and you studied chemical engineering. Yes, I did. Okay, why chemical engineering? Because you know, I I studied computer science, and I remember my AP chemistry classes that I just failed completely because it was just way too hard. Well, I I wanted to go to medical school. Um, why well, study chemical engineering? Because that's where the money was and scholarships were. When I went to school, my first year, freshman year, Black Monday happened. So that's when the like calling people bottom liars. fell out of the Wall Street. But they ain't gonna and everybody do was graduating. Let it Hold go on, let everybody hear it. I want to see from business. We don't even hear you ain't so, playing nothing. Uh, people in engineering playing. were able to get they internships and able to get employment. I don't after hear it. College. So, you don't hear it because you're on Zoom. Because I had a scientific oh. mind that made sense at the time anyway. Well, where? Okay. okay. And you graduated? No. Okay. You dropped out? Uh, dropped out. Yeah, you could say, people. yeah, I had cancer. Well, I'm supposed to hear that. Oh, you had cancer. At what age? Uh, 21. Wow. What kind of cancer? Hodgkin's. Okay. I'm not familiar. What, what is Hodgkin's exactly? Uh, familiar with, uh, what was it? Hodgkin's is a type of lymphoma. Um, okay. Prevalent. It strikes usually between the ages of 18 and 26, and then possibly in the late 40s, I want to say. Mickey Open Mantle. up your YouTube you bomb. Mickey Dang, Mantle it's basic. Yeah, the men in his family uh, had Hodgkins, and he kind of attributed the way he lived because he thought he would get it too. So, yeah, changed a lot. Okay, so how does a young man really get the news that they have cancer? And is this like a deadly form of cancer if it goes untreated? It has, or it, uh, well, it has one of the most uh, highest cure rates. Um, but like anything else, it can kill you. Like anything else, I mean, it's shocking. You weren't expecting it. Well, honestly, I I could tell during one of the internships I was having, I, I was I wasn't able to do things I used to do. I couldn't eat a full meal. Uh, I always had a, this pain in my abdomen. And the sad part about it is because when I was in school and didn't have the right kind of insurance at the time, uh, going to the local clinics. Doctor actually tried to tell me I had an ulcer because he thought we were in there just trying to, you know, get party drugs for the weekend or whatever. Um, I actually had to kind of demand that I get an ultrasound done. And I walked into a emer local emergency room and said, I need to get this, this done, a, an MRI. Uh, and the tech came in and started. And then when she stopped and two doctors came in and we knew we were kind of in trouble. Um, but they found a mass in my abdomen about the size of my foot. And after that, everything else just kind of got put on hold. Um, when something like that happens, there, there's an entire procedure. Uh, they did a, a biopsy of it, and it came back what they thought benign. So they went in with traditional surgery. Uh, but after um, actually being operated on, I guess, some of the pathology reports during surgery, I guess, from what I remember, they actually said it started out malignant. So long and short of it, they closed me up uh, because they shouldn't have operated in the first place. And then uh, from that point, treated it with uh, chemotherapy, like eight months of chemo. Okay, and ultimately you beat it? Yeah, I'm still here. How did that feel to have your last chemo session? Um. Well, I was ready to just try to get back on to life. Um, at, at that age, it's kind of hard. Everybody else is planning to attack life. And at that point, you kind of recognize your own mortality. Um, getting your last chemo session, uh, I wanted to just get 
get on to the next phase because honestly, young people really don't know how to handle that kind of stuff. Friends and family members kind of are, are kind of just kind of it freaks everybody out. Riz, that's it. really it. He should be on both. All right, let me. I, I go back. Okay, that's it. All right. Get on to the so next phase me. because honestly, I mean, young it's kind of ambiguous because we don't know when he started. But we, if we go with traditional sense, most of us started. Well, I didn't start at eighteen, but most of us started no, eighteen. Most of us started right? eighteen, yeah. and then he then he kind of mixed in the things about internships, and so it's kind of ambiguous. But I mean. I, I, so I you so no, I don't even think it's am, ambiguous. You you I mean, cannot not be ambiguous in the sense of that he didn't start at mm-hmm. nineteen, but just we don't really know when he started. That's the only thing I'm gonna say. It yeah, didn't stay he didn't start no point. So him he being able to do an internship in college, right? Yeah, you I don't, don't do that your first semester. Like freshman, he did. freshman year. You don't get no internship. Yeah, you don't get none. Yes, you can get an internship exactly. your freshman year. No, only your freshman year, but not no. the beginning, not the first you can semester. Get, not the exactly. first semester. So wait, 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 pause. No, you're saying exactly, Bomb, and that's exactly against what you're saying. He what? got an internship while he was in college for chemical engineering, right? Oh my you do not God. get an internship your after just doing a couple of months of college. Number one. Semester. Yes, you, you do not get an internship during that time. You, the application I agree. process, you got to apply and all that shit. So then, exactly. how can he do an, a, an internship in chemical engineering in undergrad if he only did a couple of semesters? No, he said when he Listen. was doing an internship, that's when he was getting sick. Bob, he said while doing okay. an internship, mom wow. was having stomach pain. Jesus, that's, Christ. that's why we use internships. Jesus Christ, don't got yeah, nothing no, to do with your y'all, lives. <laughs> y'all seem to not listen. Y'all, apparently, y'all missing what I'm saying, right? I am saying that Kevin is lying y'all trying to add the, the mathematics up and no and shit no because like we're smart Kevin and logical himself, so we're putting pieces together yeah, about his you story are, but you're not gonna be able to put them together because he is lying that is what i've been saying but you're wrong it's, but what you mean <laughs> even you saying that, so you're, you're you're putting it together right because we go we i got a couple other videos for you you didn't hear the video you didn't hear the video she, she's no, trying to muddy up the whole thing. This is why I didn't mean? bet That's you. All I've this is why I ain't bet you. This is why I ain't bet you because I don't have time to be taking money from people who don't got it. It don't make okay. sense. You're going to tell us, look at that video. He in no way did, said that he I only did a couple you, of months of college. Did I give you the video? You now said you, you told us the one to look up. Don't oh my god! You, you told us the one to look up. We looked it up, Bob. We looked up the video. Oh my you just God. said, you, look it up. Bob, you the said, video does not cooperate with what you're saying. College dropout. And that's what I typed in. And it pulled up exactly what you And then Reg played it. Y'all dumb. Why, why are we dumb? Because, oh my God. I just simply asked that I, because he said I gave him a video. That's what he said. Oh and I said, did I give you said you a we, video? No, you said anybody said. can find it. All you got to do is look up Vlad and college dropout. You told us. Listen, all I just said, you said you gave us the video, and I said, I didn't give you a video. That's no, all no, I she's trying to make it another issue. Video, oh, no, all I, listen, <laughs> she's squirming out of oh this. Oh, my God. Yo, something is wrong with y'all. Bomb, you didn't, we're not saying that you words. gave us a video. I'm but not, first of all, I'm not sure why you talking to me right now, because I wasn't talking this, to you. And I only said that because I respect <laughs> you. Oh, the shit. person I'm yelling at, is, you keep saying what we said. Let her yell at me. Let her get at me. Let her get at me. And y'all two different people. And that's what y'all niggas do. It's me, right? mom. It's me. I'm the dummy here. Yeah, okay. Well, help yes, you are the one help me not be dumb, dumb here. Dumb. Help me not Anybody be dumb here. Who, yes. You're because you just said that I gave Bob, you gave me the video. And all I said was I did not I say didn't that. I give you the video. And I, you and said it's I said. a small video on YouTube. All you have I, to do is look up Vlad Kevin yes. Samuels College. We all yes. looked it up and we found the exact video that you were talking about. I in that video, in that vi- wait, 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 in that video, he never. Here we go. Did you not hear me say? Did anybody hear me say? Are you listening to part one or part two? I'm not even sure if it's part one or part two. I just asked the question. Ain't no part and, one or part two about his grad, his him being in college. It's okay, only one part asked, I'm, I'm about him being in college. Too. Okay. Okay, this if you put up the video, part, so, show us, give us the link to the video that corroborates with what you're saying. The so the video that I'm look that I'm about to watch, right? It actually says part two. 
That's what all I asked you. That's the one that Reg played. That's the one that I saw. And that's also the one that that, that AC saw. So you're about to listen to to a video. I couldn't hear with Reg. Ain't ain't no, you gave, you literally gave us the the direction on the same video that you're looking at. No, listen, I said, listen, gave us the direction. But you told us you, exactly you, what to look up okay, to find yes. the video that you're about to that's watch. True. And it says part two. Yes. Okay, so I don't even what, know what, what the confusion is here. The confusion is you just even just tried to say it just now when you said I gave a video and now I you said the direction it, right? for now how to find the video. Directions. Okay, now you correct it. So yes. <laughs> now I, I'm corrected. Okay. Yes, All right. you correct. You claimed that I gave you something. I was like, I didn't give you anything. I thought okay. maybe somebody put all this, all this fluff, all me. this filler, whatever. Okay, we're going. Now, we're we're, we're getting to the point. The video. Um, I didn't Reg the video. played the video. Wait, wait. Reg played the video. There's okay. a chat that heard the video. They okay. also did not hear anything that corroborated with what you said. Oh, okay. I know. So let me hurry up and I'll find you the exact mark that I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll be right back. Y'all I'm gonna just say it's ambiguous. <laughs> I'm not even Wait a minute, another I video? What are you talking about? What are you talking about is another? What's the Wait, I'm not listening to the same proof? video you just played. Okay. That's not enough proof? Rez, let me tell you. Let what me tell you. you he, <laughs> there's no way he could do an internship in undergrad, especially because I did electrical engineering in my undergrad. I was able, I actually did internships during undergrad too. You get them after, you can get them after your first year. You don't get them after your first semester. You don't get them after a couple of months or anything. You can get them after your first year. Cause that's typically when like there's a career fair or something. That's when you can get your engineering internships, right? Number one. So he had to do more, at least a year of schooling in order to get an internship in chemical engineering. Number two, in order for, wait, well, we, you, know, you said you still listen. We need you to okay, find well, all I your agree. information before you come back to this conversation. Okay, because well, I don't want right. no more confluffles. Cause number two, him being able to pledge and even even start the process, right? For to go through the cap alpha side, the the new process, he cannot be. He cannot only have completed a couple of semesters. One thing is that you have to do an interview. That interview has to include the organizations that you are a part of during your mm-hmm. your your schooling. It includes a GPA. You right. need to be able to have some type of college exactly. GPA in order to even be interviewed to be a part of that organization. Exactly. Again, a no, no, bomb, stop it. Because it's against no. what you're saying. Because you said it's what, just a couple of months. You said he ain't even finished a semester. Said. No, you're I'm not repeating what you said. What, yes. I'm correcting oh, what no. you said. Actually, let, let, <laughs> you are repeating exactly listen to Bob. what I said. Ma, Ma, Ma was like, listen, listen, I'm about to run to go listen to this video. Don't ask me no questions. Listen, so I listen. I'm going over the facts. Exactly and then she's interrupting me. When Why I are you interrupting me, Bob? There's no way Ma. because he only Ma. He wasn't in long enough. That's what I Ma. said. Ma. Now, Can so I finish I what I'm saying? I no, thought you no, would listen to a video, Bob. You, you are now stating what I said. Bomb, do you want to finish your video? I said he was lying. Do you want to finish your video and, first before? And, and, bef- no, I, why? I, I want to give you why? that room to finish your you video. With what I was saying I'm not agreeing with what when you're I saying. I said he wasn't in, I, and then you remember when I said he wasn't even in school long enough? Remember but but that? that's where you're absolutely wrong. Okay, no, you, <laughs> is what you I'm saying. are wrong. Because you believe him. And even if you listen to his story, it doesn't add up. You s- no, it does, it does add, up. add up. It definitely adds up. No, it doesn't. But okay. this Vlad interview now. adds up. Yes, it does. Okay. I it does. Know. Just like the one before that, that add up too, right? The 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 interview he did, not even a whole week before this one, it adds up. When he tells those men he is a chemical engineer and, and how many jobs he's had being a chemical engineer, he even said he quit to be a a, a waiter at a restaurant. That's what he said. Oh, the same week he did. You this are moving to different things. Oh, yeah. It so started off by so, you saying so number one over there. But when he get to this interview, no, he's listen, it's me and you truth. on this panel. You're a no, liar listen, on this panel. No, listen, that's what I'm saying. You, we, it's you, me and you this on this is panel. What me I've and Bob. Said that Kevin Samuels is a liar. That's what I said. You said that you he only right, so had a not, couple not, of months. He didn't finish a semester of college. Exactly. And you I are said, wrong is what I'm right. saying. No, you sent oh, us to so a video that everybody weird, heard. Isn't it weird? Him graduate. We can, here we go. Here we go. This isn't it weird. I'm saying Kevin is a liar. And now you're trying to make sense out of 
one of his lies, just like the other lies. So <laughs> if I'm saying he's a liar, Bob and Terry be trying to try to uh, try to instill reasonable doubt. He's telling the truth. <laughs> Listen to in this. this video. So why don't you go to the new Lou, Joker video? No, no, hey, 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 hold on, Freezo, hold on, it don't one matter. Second, one second, hey, the, hey, yeah. Bob and Terry, let's let's try to meet in the middle because we all agree that the nigga is a liar. He so, lied on certain stuff, though. That's how we're trying to he point He lied out. about his education, the same thing we're arguing about right now. No, I'm just saying, though, like, like based on... Did he lie you, you about his education? You can't say... You can't... Yes, yes. Well, I, that's why well, I said we all did. agree on that. But, no! But... Okay, go ahead. But, go ahead. but... 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 What? It's only <laughs> no, seriously. You can't. You no, can't you're just not say serious, baby. no. Listen, listen, Bob. You can't say. You she can't not trying to listen. Everybody, she's trying to just over talk. You can't say everything <laughs> that he said was a lie, though, based off him lying on one thing, though. That's wait all a I'm, minute. That's I'm all sorry. I'm Kevin Simmons have been lying about this one particular thing that we even arguing about right now. Just and we're just talking about. Just his education. He lied that's about what finishing. That's what we're bomb. talking about. That's that well, one we, thing that Josh is talking admitted, about. Y'all just admitted that. Here we go. And I said this too. He, Ooh, he you reaching for that win, win, ain't you, Bob? You reaching. You just reaching, you just reaching said, for that win. See, see this I don't is the problem. You want to win so bad. Well, first of all, fuck I don't care about Kevin the fraternity. So I'm he just was saying scared that. of me just like you should be. No, I am not I should be scared of you. I should be scared of you. Yes. Like Unpack that for nigga. me. We already know what it is. <laughs> Unpack See, this that for is the me. Thing about but you got a freestyle nigga, for so me, bomb. Just, bomb, you gonna yes, go in freestyle? And you, and, yes, yes. Was, and you know, and and then it will embarrass you. So I don't know. I'm not as I'm me. not afraid of some uh okay. from some some yeah, know, orthopedic know, bars. You ain't gonna have to I'm not afraid of that. I'm not afraid of them SoundCloud beats, bomb. I'm not afraid of that. We we I'm not afraid of none of that. A people who lied about his education was seven fucking years if not more so and somebody that lied about one thing means everything is a lie this moment he's if we're taking the bomb cherry logic education. he and lied about so one thing so remember, everything thing his I whole life is a lie the first thing i said was and i'm not sure if you want me to call you that that's why i keep when i kept wanting us to call your name i ain't want to call you by your real name I'm, i apologize that's the name you got up here though i meant black brown right black brown the that's why the first thing i said was that kevin samuels is a liar and then I said he wasn't in school long enough to have uh, gotten or uh, to have pledged. And that's, and that's what we started and, on this. Now, and that was wrong. All I got to prove, even though it's weird that I got to prove that Kevin Sam is lying about his time frame when we all know for years that's exactly what he did. Lie about his time being in school. He, this is the first didn't time he about his time frame. He didn't even. This is the first time ever. That Kevin has admitted <laughs> that he didn't, didn't does not have a degree. This is the first time, and the reason he did that because this man had proof. He had proof where he was going to question it. Why would this man interview Kevin Samuels? So back to what Kevin you Samuels said. I, I don't. I don't care about none of that. I don't, I don't care about none you know of that. I, don't, I, I really don't care about that. What a, you said you is that he was not. Like everybody wanted, he never finished. He, he lied about being a part of that organization, and you yes. said that he was only no, in college for a couple of semesters or said, years. Yes, I'm saying. And I'm saying you're I, wrong on both of those. Well, okay, we're we're well, we're, we're holding Bomb Terry to what she said. We're not focusing on. We're holding you to what you said. And I'm saying you were not right. Okay, well, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> that's the whole. Like, that's the whole thing. Know, you going I over some history like, and back chats and what you and know. And on, come on, on the, on the what's name? I just text somebody that I was a kappa, and they said if you initiate, you that if someone calls you an initiate, you're not actually a kappa. But they said they did give it to him honorary when he passed, and that's why I said he was part of the visible chapter. But he never <laughs> really crossed the burning sand. He if he a new, ask him what a new means. Talk then to my husband. They gave him and the because, told you they gave him the because they gave him the honorary thing, and they didn't just, give him. They gave you him don't give somebody a new. Somebody that, a, listen, bro. I, I, if, if if he wasn't, if he, I, if I was close to him, I would take the computer to his crib and let him yeah. spin it to yourself. Like this person ain't going. He like you, Gabe. He ain't. He ain't on no bullshit. He is straight. I'm just saying. Yeah, he's straight no, shooter. He just like you, bro. He worked for the Justice Department, State of New Jersey Justice Department. He a, he a straight up dude like you. So he ain't gonna tell me no. But he been. This, I've been. So this is the question, though. AC, uh, is he a noob himself? Yes, is, is he's a, he's a, and he does all the. 
for the College of New Jersey, he what? does all the functionings. He does Boy, all the functions. I know the functions, but I'm saying, is he a part of that organization? Is he, yes, is he a like, cap alpha? He, he's like so, a leader. He's like a big time official in the shit. So he is a leader within cap alpha Psi. Yes, the person I'm so, talking about, my man. Doug. So, so maybe just a question for for him specifically is asking him if somebody is a noob. What does that mean? Well, he said they are new. They said they put noob because they gave him the honorary when he passed. So a noob is they somebody who finishes the process. A kappa is 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 somebody who has. Honor, you got to remember it's honorary, so he's not really. He never went over. You the don't get no honorary noob. You don't yeah, get no, I don't know, I don't, you know, yeah, you don't become no, you know, you're not a, I, I, you can become an honorary capital. You don't become bro. no honorary nuke, man. Yeah, I'm telling you. Said, bro. It's, it's right here, broski. He, uh, he just texted to me. I, I wish I was close to him. Maybe the I wording or, or something. Maybe he's no, not really no, understanding no, the context. Man, you he's a, you're not an honorary you, you didn't even finish, dog. He's a he's a made man in this shit. Like, he's a real high-ranking guy. Like, this is not a young person I'm talking about. This person hey, is in his 50s. He's been, a, he's been in it longer than you've been alive, bro. I'm telling you what the facts are. These I'm are facts. So, I'm there's books. Who's <laughs> telling I the literally, facts. listen, I'm telling you. I, I talking I, about books? <laughs> I know. He don't like being no. wrong because Just know right. that I know. I know. I know that you know. I know noob is somebody. Yourself, I'm telling. But he initiated I'm, himself. I'm thinking he it's the wording. He never AC, crossed I'm, over. I'm telling you. I ain't trying to argue about it. I'm just saying. I, know, I just I'm know. You, he never crossed over, bro. He never crossed over. Uh, if he you a noob, you crossed. If you he a noob, you official. Crossed. He never crossed over. He never crossed over. I'm, t- I'm telling you oh, what Why did Why did Why did y'all call him a noob? And why did you call nobody no noob? I know why did Why did to call nobody? Why did Why did Kurt call him a noob then if he didn't cross? Because because he a part. He even called him his brother. Come on, you don't call nobody no noob and no brother. Thing on here, man. I don't think it was legit. No, it noob means something specific. Yeah, I could probably call up 15, 20, 30, 40 different noobs right now. Oh, he was an initiate, bro. He, he, was, like not a, he was not a full full member. He was an initiate. Nah, full that's not it. If you look at that jacket, a full member is somebody who pays their two their 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 dues as well. I understand that that part of it, yes. Bro. But somebody who has been a, is a noob is somebody who went through the process. You would have lost that money, but you knew it, right? No, I would. Listen, you don't have any money to bet me. See, I don't know why see, you keep saying I, this. No, I don't know. I don't know why, why you keep talking married. about betting. Why would not have money? First of all, listen, just because you married don't mean. Listen, it's a whole bunch of broke married. Wait, 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 married. Wait, wait, you got money. Wait, 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 why would I do that? Wait a minute, motherfucker. You claim I ain't got no money. I ain't about to do that. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money a month. I ain't about to do that. I ain't about to do that. And I'm married, ho. I ain't about to do that. I ain't about to listen. I ain't about to take nobody disability. I ain't about to take nobody psych checks. Because you kind of off the rocker bomb. I ain't about to take your psych checks. I ain't about to take none of that. You need that. Because you knew you was lying. Thank you for your service, well, but I don't want that money from your service. You need that. I don't want that. I don't want that money from from you. Okay. Well, I know you wasn't gonna get it. I was gonna get yours. You no, meant, you no, no. Mean I knew I was never gonna get it. I knew I was never going to get it because I'm not about to wait until the government send you that money for me to get paid. I'm not gonna do that. Well, it's the first of the month. Well, I got it. And even if I'm not waiting, I got it. I'm not waiting okay. for the first, the second. Listen, okay. if, if you bet me, I need my money now. That's okay, how I that's ain't betting. I need my money. See, I need my money wrong. now. And see, so I ain't about to bet you. you Why would I bet I you and then, and then have to wait for the government to send you some money? Stop but it. But the problem is this. I could have went the downstairs problem? and got my fucking husband to come up here and tell you everything you want to know. I don't even talk to your husband. I'm talking to you. I know. I know. Stop it. If I'm saying my husband pledge the fraternity, the same one we talked about. You can too? Uh, no, he's not a new. Oh, okay. so but how would he know about being? Why how we know about that organization? He's not a new. All right, the question okay. is, are you a new? <laughs> Wait, hold on, no, hold on, AC, I'm not. AC, hold on. Can I step in? I pass on it on. I pass it on. Um, first off, cap alpha size on fraternity that does not, does not, award honorary status. That's the only frat that doesn't of the divine eye. Okay, so. I need you. I need to give you pushback on that, AC. Now you can pledge grad chapter, 
You can play as paper. Bro, this is on their Twitter website. I'm but not listen, saying it. Yeah, They're not. saying it. Not I'm not saying it. Aries. I don't know no, shit listen, about that. I told you we was right, man. This is on their website. This is on their Instagram, my brother. This is on Kappa's Instagram. No, I told you we was right. You're all wrong on this one. Okay, well, we go to the website. AC. AC. Let me tell you something. 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 Let me tell and you pass that burner Sands, that's the only way you got Snoop status. They got cats that came out there and placed online and couldn't come out there and get that real hazing, so they placed paper. If you pledge Snoop, that means you went and did that shit, okay? Yeah. You went and did that grind. You don't get honorary status as a Snoop because everybody for, for a quick second thought that Barack Obama was a Snoop, a Kappa. All right, and the fraternity came out there and said, "Oh, wow, this is a distinct honor that we could be even associated with this person. We don't give our honorary status to our fraternity." And I'm looking Omega at the Instagram does. post. Omega I'm does. looking at that. I'm looking at Omega that Instagram does. post. AC. Omega it said does. that he joined the chapter. Initiated the, in '88. The one I'm looking at doesn't initiated, say Initiated. That makes it you a noob. That means you went through the process. But then it says, "Bro, no, initiated is when you initiate. It doesn't mean no, you went through." It no, no, that means that make him a noob. Right, he went he, through the process. 80, he they became an eighty-eight. Like that. Initi- that initiate mean mm-hmm. that you went, that you went, you crossed the sands. That mean that you yeah. did it. You that that's what initiate mean? Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, and then that's, it says, that's, "Bro, that's, Samuel join the yeah. chapter Invisible May fifth. That's when he that's died. I, I read it. I wait, wait, no, no, no. Pause. Pause. AC. That's when he died. <laughs> right. That's what I said. That's yes. why I said they gave right, it to yes. him in, in memorial. No, they didn't give it to him. That means that he joined Chapter Invisible. Chapter it's invisible. all worded. That means mean? he died. That mean that he died? Yeah. yeah that's, that means yeah, that he chapter died. Chapter Invisible means that he died. That's what Kappa. Right. And Kappa, uh, see, y'all, uh, see, y'all, y'all wrong. There you go. <laughs> see, Bam. mom. Oh, mom just talking. No, I'm reading. No, no, no. I'm saying that's what I'm saying. You didn't interpretation. You didn't understand the interpretation. That's what it was. This is me. Yeah, I didn't. I'm just giving it a That's why I pulled it up. I'm like, I need to see what it says. So, so, bomb cherry. He did. They did not give him honorary status of joining Omega Psi Phi the day he. I mean, uh, of, of joining Kappa Alpha Psi the day he died. They did not do that. He he was official in '88. He joined their invisible chapter, quote unquote, on May fifth, twenty twenty two, the day he died. You got pushback about that bomb? Uh, no, I ain't got no pushback about that. I'm saying because uh, for some reason y'all still not listening to me. I'm saying that he lied. <laughs> Lied about what? <laughs> you just saying he lied. Well, 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 how many times? How can he lie? That he we, 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 we've been lying. Okay, right. I am saying that Kevin Samuels lied that he wasn't <laughs> a part of the fraternity in eighty. You say eighty eight, right? Is that what you're saying? You said eighty eight. That's what. That's not what I'm saying. Okay. That's what the Oklahoma City chapter said. Okay. Okay. So in in eighty eight, that's is that when he went in college? You saying that he was there for three years, right? So we need to go back to when he started no, I college. I just need you to t- just tell me what, <laughs> what you year was were he born? Because I was clear about what he I graduated said. in high school eighty five, eighty six. So if he was there in eighty eight, if he was still in college in eighty eight, that means he'd been there longer than a semester. Yeah. Yes. Uh. So Kevin, a couple so years. y'all saying that Kevin yeah, right. Samuels graduated in what years? Eighty, either eighty five or eighty six from high school. 85, 86. Did he say that? That he graduated 85, 86? I mean, I don't... I go mean, by his birthday. Go by his she birthday. She's just trying to yeah, establish yeah, reasonable yeah, dates. No, she's just trying to establish that. No, let me explain. Yeah, she's trying to do it. My brother no, died no, in 2022. No, no, no. He was three years old and he graduated no, high school in 86. My brother was 53 when he passed. Uh-huh. In October 2022. How old was Kevin Samuels when he passed, baby? 53 years old. Yeah. No, he was not. How old was no, they say 53? How okay, okay. Yes, well, okay. I, tell me, tell me no. when wait, wait, hold on. When was Kevin Samuels born? Uh, y'all, oh my god. You know, can, y'all got it, y'all anybody got tell me when Kevin Samuels was born? born? She does a lie, man. This is right. No, 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 no. When was Kevin Samuels born? Kevin Samuels was 50. No, no, when when was he born? What's the date when was he born? Jesus Christ. You do, tell do me. Do you know the date? I don't know. I do not know his uh, his birthday. Fuck. God damn. And what the hell are you asking me? Like I'm like I got. Well, you know everything. Yeah. I'm trying to ask you why. 
I do know that he was 57 years old. Okay, 69. Died. He's three years younger than me. What? My brother in 84, so that means... Uh, yeah, I know. 87, he went to college. Well, he went 18, to college 18, 87? Yeah, he was 18 then. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, let's it, go. It, so, yeah, but you're lying, though. Now, I, I'm, I'm not saying you lying on purpose. I'm saying y'all just make y'all listen lying. to a liar. Listen, 60, I'm not 69. saying that. I'm born in 66. That's three years. Okay. 84, I graduated. He was 53 when he died, Bob. He was okay. 53 when he died, Bob. He was born okay. March 13, 1969. Where you got that from? first year of college was, was 87. Then. I'm asking y'all where y'all got that from. Mm -hmm. it's eight, it's right here on, on Wikipedia. It's and right then here. he was in college. He was doing the new when he was 18. Right so he must have joined when he was 19. Pull it up says, his obituary where his mother, All right, let me his family. His actual family. So you play as play as play one year after you got got into college, basically. That, Across that the stand. Basically. You do that addition right. So but okay, we're gonna go with what year you said? Because it would have been the same year I graduated, right? If he's fifty if well no, if if, if he was fifty three, how how long ago he been dead? Two years now, right? Is it two mm -hmm. years or three, y'all? Two. Cause he two years? Mm -hmm. Fifty three? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so he was fifty-six. I told you, his mom, and that's from his he fucking was mother. Six. See, I ain't got the. This is a Rolling Stone. Kevin Samuels, polarizing YouTuber, notorious for comments <laughs> about black women dead at fifty-six. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wait a minute. So now we gotta do some real looking now. Hey, now call me a liar now. Oh shit! See, I know fifty-six. What? 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 What's it got to do with anything? So he oh, was born in 1966. It got a lot to do with it. Not he was born in 1966. He was born so in 1966. He was born in 1966 and 19. Like I, so, yeah, same. Now, nah, okay. Now, nah, y'all, you said the same thing, right? Remember, he. Oh, you sure? That. I don't know. I see. I see 69 here. So, yeah. who's wrong? Well, you got to go look. His well, it's on Rolling Stone. Rolling Stone ain't gonna lie because you know they ain't trying to get sued. Well, I, well, I mean, why, why Google Stone, got this Rolling up Stone there? Because you can, you can put anything this you want on Google. 6. This is May 6, 2022. Okay. Kevin Sands, Rolling got... Stone. Look up Rolling Stone. Kevin Sands, polarizing YouTube YouTuber, notorious for comments about black women. Mm. Dead Maybe Rolling Stone Stone. got it wrong and nobody corrected it. No, they ain't got it wrong because they got it from his Red. family. Come on, Red. And it's still up. And you know what's weird about this shit? Nobody don't check them. Yeah, it's still up. Well, anyway. I can go and put a bomb cherry and put whatever age I want to be and all that shit where I'm from, and Wikipedia will put that up. But see, them newspapers and them papers and magazines, they not going to lie. You can make so, a mistake, you yes. know. They, so they, they, got, they, they Kevin always make mistakes Kevin Samuels was about lying ages, about his age. Kevin Samuels lied about his age, where he was born, all kinds of shit. But let me say this. So now, we know, now y'all believe me about his age, okay? Now, add that shit up. Now, let me tell you what the key word is. Remember, he mentioned Black Monday. What year did that happen? Black Monday? You mean 87. Stock market? 87. 87. 87. It was Monday in 87. I thought it was 88. That's right. What did he, what did he say about Black Monday? He said that it was a dark day and, you know, people lost their jobs and all that shit. And, and he wanted to be a financial guru and all that. But that made him change his mind because you could no longer get internships and all that shit. That's right. Did he go to school? Was he in school already, or did he go to school after Black Monday? So, so, after, so, so what, what is what does this have to do with anything? You wrong. It has to do. You still wrong. Okay. So what does that have to do with it? No, you I'm not wrong. You just want me to be wrong, just like you said I was wrong about his age, just like I was wrong about you know his, who his apartment belonged to and who he was staying with and what kind of person he was. Like I, I know I was wrong about all of that. But you know one thing about Kevin? Wait, did he no. say he was in high school during Black Monday? Because Black Monday was October 19th, 1987. And he said he was, I could have sworn he said he was still in high was school. Was he in college? Or that? Let me, I, let me look. I, yeah, I, don't know clear, he, so. I don't know if he said that made him change it or that's what made him be yeah, true. That made him change his, because that happened. Was he change there? What? Was he in college when he changed it or was he home when he changed it? Hi, baby. 
Hey, little one. Well, we, know you know you know we know you had to drop out of 21. We know you had to drop out of 21, though. Hey, grandchild. We know you had to drop out of 21. She's pretty. It's a boy. It's a girl, right? You said a girl? It's a girl. She's super pretty, bomb. She's super she really beautiful. Oh, well, I've seen your daughters, much. and I've seen you. I never seen your wife, but I, I know you make they got the big, pretty my babies. My wife is tall. <laughs> she a tall drink of water. No, I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> Bomb, I got a lot of kids though, Bomb. <laughs> I know you told me. Look, you got a set of twins and Dude, I, got, uh, like, I got four right, dope okay, kids that is All right, last off, yo. That's it. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm out of here. What you about to leave on us? Yes. Rich. I gotta oh. go. Time to oh, okay. Go. Well, we could have held it down for you, but anyway, nah, okay. Nah, but I'm gonna do that. I'm I'm gonna go over there and talk about Kevin said we're gonna add these shit up. Cause I hear you play why you ain't playing through uh Zoom. I ain't gonna get, I don't know, I, I'll play through here. You, but people heard it. Everybody heard it. I didn't hear it. Dear though. world, I want y'all to know. Remember this video. day as the day. Dear oh, world, gonna... dear, dear hot, dear chat mafia, dear Reg, dear haters. I want y'all to notice the day uh, that AC and Gabe was on the same fucking page and didn't argue. They showed because they was arguing with me, y'all. But Arthur. By the way, I don't argue with him because you know I love him, but Gabe. And I love you uh, more, baby. I love you more. So you know, so you know I wasn't talking about you. Light Actually, skin I was power, only talking to Light Gabe skin when power I said activate. dumb niggas. <laughs> Light skin power activate. That's right, baby. Really? Have a good day, Bomb. I love you, big sis. You too, right, babe. About to end it, man. I, I just got back. I got another call Keep from work, ticket. man. What's up? <laughs> Keep huh? I mean, Reg, about the end it. You can come over there by me. We're going we gonna to continue this conversation if you want mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I don't, I don't care about Kevin Samuels like that though. I get what you're saying, you know what I'm saying. I, I just try to be peaceful, <laughs> but um, no, oh, we were just gonna have a sun, uh, Saturday, uh, yeah, Friday. I, I come over. We're gonna do Freaky though. Friday later, maybe, maybe. I'm thinking about. I it. come over and listen though. <laughs> okay, okay. You scared yeah. to come up there with the women? God <laughs> damn, keep it back. I'm gonna protect you, baby. <laughs> anyway, y'all have a good one. Uh, thank you, Reg, for having me. You know, I like having fun with y'all and shit. Y'all need to stop with this Kevin Samuels bullshit, though. Because that man was lying about everything. Okay? Uh, I'll see you later. Bye, keep it tacky. Right. Hey, oh, you I know about you. phones, right? You know about phones. Just a little bit. Not much, though. Because phones are, yeah, like I said, they make them to, to where you, they just want you to buy a new one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard to, to fix on them. Yeah, people be asking me if you're a computer person, why you don't know about phones? I say, well, I don't know, I don't know nothing about phones like that. Yeah, you know, I'm the same different. way. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they make it seem like it's the same, but it's not different. OS, different setup, and everything. Mm -hmm. But anyway, thank. Oh. Uh, you got a channel. I used to be subscribed to you, but I lost that channel. So I'm gonna come. Is it keep it techie? Yeah, it's keep it techie. It? Yeah, it's the okay. same. Yeah, I'm about to come and subscribe to you again. Okay. Okay. All right. See y'all right. later. Bye, everybody. Please. You right. dumbass niggas in the chat. Bye. Bye, Red. Bye. Yeah. Bye bye. All right, Red, I'll catch you later. Then I didn't know you was about to end it. I had got another call, man. Yeah. But nah. Uh I catch you on the next one, bro. All right. All right, peace. peace. All right, let me uh end this here. All right. All right, folks. Let's see. Yeah, I take a sponsor question. This is Hurry up or summer. Okay. My payment rate on sponsor question is early. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Let's see who we got here. This is our, our, um, PayPal. Osama. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. No super chat. Can we start the show now? <laughs> well, I don't know. That's just, that ain't gonna happen. I'm gonna eat. I got some stuff I gotta do too. I'm going on tomorrow. Tomorrow's the weekend. So, you know, this is, we live. We live on the weekend. So, whatever we didn't get, get done here, said here, we said tomorrow and the next day. You know, we still got time. Oh, no, he's not on the panel, Osama. You might have to just wait. He's about to wait. Because he's not on the panel. You might be in the chat, but y'all think you think he's not on the Yeah. AC Dog. Yeah. Cassandra said, Why well, we hate Bomb? Nah, I ain't nobody hate nobody. Nobody hate nobody. 
You wrong on this one. That's show. Sure. Dead wrong. But anyway, um, the old time we just do it in response to question when AC get back. Um, that's it for me, man. I'm out of here. Thank you guys for coming through. Appreciate it. Get the likes up. I know y'all be messing up with the likes. You know. Um, we'll do it tomorrow. Um, so until next time, I'll see you guys on the other side. Damn, what the? Ah, oh, that can't be real. Oh, but anyway, I'm out of here. So the next time I see you later, peace.